Welcome to Bitter Bits. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Thank
Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to... It's over. Look at that. Golden, golden Sark. Wait, what? Welcome Wait a minute. Okay, face. Gold Sarcasm Face was 100% over. What happened? Did you see that? Like, it just sat on zero for like four seconds and then just shot forward. It's ridiculous, dude. Oh my god. What is Sarcasm Face? You, dude, use it. It's the one, it's... I've seen it referred to as the boomer emote, which I thought was pretty funny. I was like, wow. I guess that, I was like, I guess that is true. It is a, it is in fact it is in fact a boomer a boomer Twitch emote, I guess. I suppose it is. Oh yeah, don't forget to use your coopies. <laughs> God, it looks like shit. Oh, it looks terrible. Yeah, you can get I think a chance uh is it a chance contribute to earn this exclusive emote for 24 hours. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Like you, if there's like another hype train that it also will have it, I have no idea. But the odds of there being a second hype train during Spooky Month is pretty low, actually. So I would, if you want golden, golden Carpo, then I guess now, I guess now's your chance. It's temporary. No way. No, <laughs> dude. No fucking way. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> No, there's no, there's no way. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Dude, I'm looking, I'm looking at Golden, Golden Carpo. <laughs> I don't even know about this. I guess like, I guess, I guess maybe folks who see more hype train oriented channels would know more about I'm gonna, I'm gonna enlarge, I'm gonna enlarge this really quick if you guys wouldn't mind looking at this with me for a second. I just wanna, I just want you to gaze upon it. <laughs> Watch. Gritty Goose is still in there. Uh, so that's good. Um, that's good. You got, let's look, let's look at his face. He's like, oh, it's 24. <laughs> it doesn't even, it doesn't even look like Kanpo, really. Like, he just like, oh, it's 24. <laughs> Oh, this is 24 hours. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why that's, I don't know why his face, I don't know why his face is just killing me. I, like, he looks so, <laughs> he looks so defeated by that. He's like, you were, you were give you were give it 24 hour? Well, oh, damn. I thought, here I was thinking, here I was thinking Golden Kanpo was permanent, but you know, it would have been more fun if it was like really random. And like it randomly only hit certain streams, and then like once you got it, you unlocked it, and that was like fun. Like it's like a really low chance on hype trains for it to pop. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like if it was like, oh shoot, look at that, it's a really rare fucking hype train thing, and oh man, maybe we get golden golden carpo or something. Like that'd be maybe fun. But man, I didn't know it was temporary. That's horrible. That's horrible. I have no idea. No, no clue. All type trains have a chance to be one, and if you get one, you can use the emote for 24 hours. Why didn't they just make it a permanent unlock if it was rare? That we've never even seen it. We've like we've never even seen it. Like it's so that's weird. And we I mean we haven't had like a ton of hype trains, but I mean god, we've had we've had enough. We've had enough that I feel like we would have seen it at some point, but yeah, that's crazy. that's crazy. Uh I think I've gotten this before and it didn't even work. Oh, dude. Dude, you fucking you get you got you got it and it didn't work. You didn't get to use your golden copini for fucking 24 hours, dude. Call the call the police. <laughs> call, call the cops, dude. And God, at least give it people for like a month or so. I don't know, like give them like a week, like a day. You get a day, like because most people I feel like maybe watch like one or two like streamers a day. I would assume, especially if like maybe they watch like one in the afternoon, maybe like one at night, or they like bump between like maybe two or three. I feel like people don't watch like a shit. So like, you, what, what are you gonna fucking, like what are you gonna use it? Cause let's say like you got it the night that you were watching somebody for a few hours and then like you use it, what, the next afternoon maybe if you're like at work or something like chatting it. What, I mean like what, what, that's so stupid. <laughs> that's so stupid. And the bulk of hype trains occur at the beginning of streams. So like you won't even get to use it for the next stream. Probably. Like, if you got it right now, you basically would only be able to use it for, like, what? 
if I started right at eight, you get it for like an hour. God, that's that's so weird, dude. Welcome that's so weird. Well, let's see it. Who all who all got their who all got who all got it? Who got your golden your golden kapongis? Anybody? Oh man, there it is. God, that's so good. Not only is it legible, it isn't. <laughs> good. I'm glad you got the red card. I like the red card's also reasonable in this exact moment. Oh, thank God we got it, everybody. Enjoy it for 24 hours. <laughs> Enjoy it for 24 hours. Yeah. Oh, thank God, man. Thank God. That's good. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. You know what they could have done? They could have just. They could have just made. Why they squimped on my screen, dude? Because you don't. You don't get it. You don't understand what you come on now. How did so many people get red red card? That's impressive. Is that new? Is that like a new one? You still oh look at that headbang! You got that. You know what you know what though? You know what you could have gotten instead and you just didn't and it's really upsetting? Because like you could have gotten I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know where it is, dude. Never mind. Never mind, I was gonna try to find something, but Never mind. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere, somewhere in this mountain of emotes that I have over here. That is just. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Why is there a golden Tim Heidecker? Who the hell's Tim Heidecker? Let me let me look that up. Let me look up that joke really quick. Tim Heidecker, American com comedian and oh 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 from Tim and Eric. God, I just forgot his last name. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> it's Tim of Tim and Eric fame. I just like, I was like, who the fuck is that? Like, I knew the name, and I'm like, who? Who does that mean? Who does that mean? Ooh, yeah. All right. Anyway, so we got a, yeah, good. Oh, that's a good on screen celebration. Yeah, let's do that tonight. Let's, let's put, you know, use your, use your, use your golden, golden chapongis until whatever. Thank God. Thank God you got it, guys. I'm just, I'm so thankful for everybody who got it. You know what's crazy? Look at how less excited people are for Golden Kappa than they were for like Gritty Goose. Or like Woe Deer or something like that. Like, look at how everybody's like, wow, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Look at that. Thank God I have this Evo for 24 hours. Hot damn. I just can't, I can't wait to use it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to use it. Uh, some. <laughs> it's a, a couple times. Great. Oh boy. But I was too bad I can't give uh Alright, alright gang. Here's the trigger warning for uh Jisatsu. You ready? It's uh this game contains violent scenes and grotesque expressions. Okay, so if you <laughs> this, game, this game is a horror game. I'm gonna <laughs> That's what it is. There it is! It sucks. It's gross. You gross. Why are there stair feet on the fucking thing? What's up with that? Get that out of here. I didn't need that. Get that out of here, dude. Grotesque expressions? Oh, you better watch out. Oh, I could probably flip the camera over now, can't I? I was actually adding, uh, I was actually adding Jiskansu to the frame rate limiter really quick in NVIDIA because, like, I know how this goes. I, dude, this is like, you know what? Honestly, I'm about to make a bingo entry for Nick has to lock the frame rate. Dude, dude, I'm doing that actually. Hang on a second. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to rebake the bingo cards. I'll, uh, I'll remind. I'll put a little reminder down to to do that later. Uh, yeah. No, if Nick, <laughs> Nick has to go outside of the goddamn game to lock the frame rate. Any plans on playing the Silent Hill 2 remake? Yes, but I don't know if I'll do it like during Spooky Month. I feel like. I feel like if you like. It, it was actually very flattering because several people have said that they would rather just watch me play it and talk about it than like play it themselves. Which is, which is very sweet, and I'm glad. Uh, the reason I may not do it for October is like, it will probably take several nights to do, and uh, I will probably be sitting here, because here's gonna be the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. The problem is that people are gonna probably say it's pretty good, or that it's decent or whatever, or that people like it. But also, a lot of people don't get why Silent Hill 2 is good in the first place. They think it's they think it's good for these like weird reasons that I I don't necessarily agree with. I have like these very strange opinions about that game, so 
they, I've been over it like a million times of why I think Silent Hill 2 is like literally the best horror game ever made. Uh, there's there's a lot of reasons for it. And I, from what I've seen so far in trailers and whatever, it already looks like it's missing out on some of the things that make it the best horror game ever for me. Uh, so we'll see. <laughs> it's fog. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's why I think it's the greatest horror game ever made. Um, but I've, I've gone over it like a million times about why I think Silent Hill 2 is like this one of the best ever made. Uh, and it's, it, they're kind of weird reasons. Uh, mostly, mostly the fact that the game is like strangely grounded, but it's not at the same time. Like it's odd. It's a weird game. Oh, I can flip. Oh. Okay. Oh, dude, this shirt actually looks neat with like the red reflection thing. Cause it's perp. So it's got like the red in it. You see they're making a sequel to Alien Isolation? Well, considering I never played Alien Isolation, I, I personally don't care, but that's good for people that did. Um, so, you know, like, I, I, I don't know, but I, uh, no, Silent Hill 2 is like a huge, huge fucking game for me. So, like, I'm sure, I'm sure that I will probably not enjoy it. There'll probably be things about it that are fine. But again, I, thinking about the fact that they, they, I'm still blown away that they gave it will never make sense to me that Konami gave Bloober Team, who made fucking Layers of Fear, which I don't think Layers of Fear is like the worst game ever. It's just kind of stupid. It's not terrible. It's just kind of stupid sometimes. And it's not really like an amazing horror game. And also the team that made The Medium and several other games that are just dry as butt. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, ne I'll never understand. I'll never understand. Uh, but anyway, the point is, I probably will play it. I don't know if I'll do it for October, though, because it's going to take several days. We have so much to do. And while it is a remake, we have played Silent Hill 2 many times, and I would hope that the plot doesn't deviate much from the original, because that would be really fucking stupid. Um, I don't know if they did lowball it. I think Bloober Team probably made a metric buttfuck of money to do this. Like, I'm sure they paid them a ton of money and they also they're I mean any any horror dev would normally be like desperate to touch something like Silent Hill but I mean I look if I was like a game dev I wouldn't I wouldn't touch that shit no way you you could not like if I was like a competent game dev and you were like you want to try you want to be on the team that remakes Silent Hill 2 I'd be like no no I don't absolutely not no way no way dude because I was like I was I, I will never when was the last time Silent Hill was good in my opinion, because like there are other people that will probably say like some of those some of those later ones are good. And I, I think that I think they're wrong, but I think that's cool if they dig it. If they like downpour and pff, army man and whatever, like that's fine. Uh, the last good one was probably three, but I think I don't think three is nearly as good as two. Four is like halfway there. Four is like good for a good chunk of it and then there's other parts of it that I'm like this is awful but the four is still cool four four has like some really interesting concepts but they kind of just they kind of just drop the ball on a lot of them but like four four could have been really good I just think that it's, they just dropped the ball on some of it I don't like hate it but whatever um anyway so that's my answer to that probably won't do it for October probably will do it after October it just feels it feels weird to do it and just spend a lot of time on that when we have so much other crap that we can do uh, that we've never seen before or whatever, or that won't make me probably be like, because it's going to be, it's going to be one of those things where it's probably going to end up in a bunch of arguments because like, well, not arguments, but I don't want people to like, I don't want to, like, I'm not going to, I don't want to sit there and like bitch about it either. So like, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just play it and then just play it again on stream or something so I can like have my thoughts more, whatever. <sighs> no, I don't think it'll be old man yells at cloud. I think old man yells at cloud is when shit's like completely unjustified, but I promise I'll actually be able to justify why things frustrate me with Silent Hill 2 remake land because I, I can already do it with some, <laughs> with some of the shit I've seen from promotional stuff. I can be like, oh my God. And there are things that like the game can't fix. Just even if the gameplay was like really good or something, they're just like these weird fundamental things that already are just weird about it, but. Oh yeah, stay safe, Kimchi. That storm is stupid. I, Erica told me about it. She was like, that thing went from a tropical storm to, what, Cat 5 in like 12 hours? So anybody in Florida, I'm not, I, I was checking on everybody in North Carolina and some parts of Tennessee and South Carolina and shit. If you live in Florida, please God, check in the next couple days. That that storm is disgusting. Like, it's crazy. Like, that is, uh, we've, we've had some doozies out here in the southeast, so. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, you only get Golden Carpo for 24 hours. It probably is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there are people that now think that, like, the government controls the weather, and I'm just like, okay, we, we've officially hit. We've, we, like, we were already losing it, and people were just outright just stupid as shit, and apparently now we've just doubled down on crazy, so. Anyway. Oh, let me open up, let me open up Heart Rate Land. Hang on a second. So tonight, we're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna be doing Jusatsu, which is, uh, which is a chill as art game that is apparently kind of mixed. It's one of those things, like, some people really dig it, some people don't. So I'm actually curious to try it, because that means that they're doing something different with this. Uh, this came out last year. I didn't get a chance to play it yet. I've done pretty much all of Chilong Chilongi's stuff ever since they hit the scene back in the day. Um, yeah, we played Crow Cruncher when it came out. We 100 per... No, we did 100... Yeah, we did We did the, like, special ending and everything, didn't we? It should be on the VOD channel if you want to go check that out. I decided to do Crow Country because I was like, this is so far away from Spooky Month and it might be a multi-night or two, so I was just like, screw it, let's just go. Let's do it. So we did it, we did it when it came out. Um, <laughs> sometimes I'll, uh... Sometimes I'll hold off on, on games like that just because I'll wait to see what do. How many subs for Skeleton? Like, for my Skeleton? You want my bones? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, they, they dropped the Rona mutations. That's it. That's it! <clears throat> yeah, I hope it I hope it does. But yeah, I'm going to be I'm be sending out a, a ping in Discord probably to check on people who are in Florida because, my God, that shit, that shit's stupid. Um, Crazy. Absolutely nuts. I need a number between one and seven, inclusive one. Uh, let's see. Against the odds of their track record set, it's actually good. I will, I will believe that when I play it. I will believe it when I play it. They're valid because everyone has. Yeah, not oh, like I don't know. It's it's but like that's not one of those like oh this is just my opinion. Like I legitimately like just the way that like Silent Hill Two is built. Like I don't know if doing it in a modern format even works anyway. I hadn't actually seen Maria in the game until today, and I was like I like how Maria went from looking the way she did to looking to like a shitty real estate agent in a weird part of town. I was like, there's a reason that Maria looks the way she does in the original game. It, whatever, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I can't, I can't fall into this hole. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be bitching about this for like the next hour. Anyway, so, <laughs> like, anyway, there's a reason she looks the way she does. So, um, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do Jisatsu tonight, which is gonna be, uh, interesting, I think. Like I said, this, this one's apparently one of the more uh, divisive chilloids. Now, that doesn't mean much of anything, because remember, people loved, people loved, like, the kidnap. I thought the kidnap kind of sucked. Uh, like, it was just not a, it was not a horror game. Uh, people loved, uh, karaoke. I thought karaoke was one of the weakest games they've ever made. Um, so, like, I, I like Chillas. Some of their stuff is really good, or at least, like, decent, you know, relatively, con I would say consistently, but sometimes it's not. Their later stuff has been a little bit weirder, but then they have stuff like um, The Caretaker, which is awesome. They did that. It was really good. Um, you know, so so Chillas can do some some really good stuff, and they, they, they have a pretty decent level of quality, but then they've got some, some doo-doo monsters in there, too. They've got, you know, Nightway Home, which is awful, and that was a game that they tried something new. So there you go. Are we arguing over Bingus? Do you think Silent Hill 2 Maria is what would have happened if she wasn't killed by gun? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, no, Maria looks like a shitty real estate agent. I was like, I don't think that's really the idea, but all right. I mean, I get it. They're probably like trying to be like, how do we make like weird, risque version of me? Whatever, again, I gotta just shut up because like this is just this is going to be a whatever. Point being, we do have bingo. Don't forget to get your bingo cards locked and loaded because the chill is art game. I'm sure is bound to have a few. I tried to watch the kidnap one, but I couldn't because clown phobia. I, you know, honestly, that's fair. If it's any consolation, the clown does not do anything at any point that is scary. I think at one point he's like, legitimately, it is so stupid. He's like running in the woods and you can just like see him. And it's like, oh my God, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. There's something about seeing a flappy foot clown man just like flopping through the woods that you're like, damn, for real? <laughs> yeah, what? Bruh, for real? Okay. Okay. All right. Am 
Oh, I try my I try my best, Walmart. Hey, my right ear is itchy. One last thing for the bingo, Nick. Camcorder camera mechanic needs some kind of spacing edit. It's weirdly small on the card. Yeah, Bingo Baker's weird. Bingo Baker is like awesome, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to edit individual entries because like you would have to make an individual entry for every single line. But you can also just do the supplementary thing where you just like inject your massive fucking wad of, of letters. And uh, unfortunately, like it's kind of it, you can actually go to Bingo Baker right now and go look at it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to edit stuff, but I'm definitely going to add a couple things. I really want to do uh, Nick locks the frame rate outside of game or something, because like that's happened several times where the game just doesn't have V-Sync. It doesn't have a frame rate limiter. It doesn't have anything and it just runs out of control, which I used to just let it roll. But then like with the amount of heat that my machine generates, if it's just running uncapped and it's just like blasting the fuck out, uh, you know, whatever, like it would just be crazy. I can like make our own. Do you think, do you think you can make it like, do you think you can make it like better than Bingo Baker? I'm, 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 assu I'm assuming you can. You're, you're God King, uh, God King Bear. So I would assume you could probably make a 10,000 times better version of it. <laughs> I'm sure you can make a better version of it. Have Jigakuro make it and then make Dustin host it. And by make Dustin host it, be like, Dustin, you gotta get like, Dustin's like, oh, I've got 400 web domains. Which one do you want? Like that time he came in here was like, oh, I got like eight extras that I bought. Oops. <laughs> I got like eight extras. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. The so student asked if I could draw on my board today and uh, drew It's a Spooky Month Kid. Nice. That's really cute, actually. Oh, pretty good. I think there already is a uh, Twitch extension thing for Bingo. I'm pretty sure it just kind of sucks. There's actually several. That's actually there's actually several things that I've thought about working with a few of our code meisters uh because there's like a few plugins slash extensions for like either obs or like uh stream shit that don't really exist that i think we could absolutely if we sold it for like a dollar 99 or something like that like could legitimately make a lot of money off of like because there's little stream plugins that people will pick up for like a dollar or two dollars that are absolutely worth the money i picked up a couple of them here and there like there are a few that i had ideas for that i'm like dude this this would be great for people there's one in particular that I talked about before that does not exist. And it was the point based like thing that I was like, dude, if because there's so many different ways to support streamers between bits, donations and subs, like creating a a little plug in thing or like an extension that does like conversion of donations, bits or subs into points. And like that way, people could set like goals for stuff that's like, oh, if we hit like 100 points, we can do this. And like a sub is worth like, you know, three. But a dollar is a, a dollar is one, you know, and then like a hundred bits is like one and it just does all that on the back end. That'd be fucking awesome. I think a lot of streamers would like that because then they could you they could just be like, oh, whatever you want to do, whether it's subs, bits or dollars, you can just do whatever you like, however you want to support the stream instead of being like, oh, it has to be like dollars. <clears throat> Apparently somebody was working on one at one point and like the project got abandoned because the dude just never finished it, but it was like halfway done. And there are several other people who have asked about that over the years. And I was like. I, don't know, I, always, I always thought that would be a really cool thing to make because like that would make uh, doing goals and stuff for streamers way easier than ever having to like split your currencies and like have to have different ones for different things. Anyway, that's in the same rant. That's in the same rantville as like Silent Hill 2 kind of, except for it doesn't make me as angry. Um, I'm also I also, also want to say I'm not trying to like invalidate anybody that's like, oh, it's pretty good. I am super glad that people are enjoying it. I really am. I just don't have a lot of faith in that game because Bloober has let me down in ways that are just unreal that they are just like so dry. I want you guys to enjoy it. I want people to I want people to have a good time. I never want anything to fail. I'm just saying like for me personally, when you say like, are, are you going to play? I might. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'll. Uh... No, I never I never showed stuff. Are you ready for me to show that now? Because there was that other thing you're working on. Are you, you ready for me to do that? Or did you want to finish the other thing first? You got night shift on your card? Nice. Night shift's basically free square if you can make it to if you can make it to midnight. <laughs> yeah. If you can make it to midnight, it's basically it's basically free. So that's pretty cool. Which means you get your free square and you get night shift, which is awesome. So that means you got all kinds of all kinds of stuff. It's God's decision. The new spore expand is that really is that an actual thing? Is it like fan made? Because there's no way they're making a new spore expansion in 1958 or whatever this is. <laughs> it's in 1958 or whatever. 
Boy, do I love tinnitus. Dude, jo God, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, but I'm not supposed to show these, right? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I didn't want to show those, I guess. Um, alright, so, in order to keep herself, uh, not going crazy, and, um, let me show you guys these, because Eric has been working on these for a while. Uh, she's making a couple smaller ones, too, for some specific folks, uh, which I will talk about later. What does that say? Oh, right. Um, so she did, she wants to remake a couple of these, but I wanted to show you guys this, because she bought, like, a little thing, because she was like, I need to be doing something with my hands that's, like, you know, not, like, super complicated. But she did these during the, uh, she did these during the Sonic Subathon, and she wanted to give these away, um, for folks, uh, who were there. So we'll probably do, like, this week or something like that. Uh, we'll do, like, a little, like, point redeem. I just want it to be, like, a low point redeem. It's gonna be, like, a hundred or something like that, just for people to literally get in there. Um, and these can also be mailed out, but she wanted to make, like, these little, like, friendship bracelet-style things. Let me turn off the green screen for this. Like I said, she's been making these, and she's made a lot of them. <laughs> she's, she's made, like, ten or twelve or something like that. Because, like I said, she's been trying to do something to keep her hands busy and stuff, especially with all the crazy crap going on, because it's just been stressful. Uh, so she wanted to make a little, like, friendship bracelet thingies, um, uh, just to, you know, keep her busy and, and do all that stuff, and, uh, she wanted to do them for the Sonic Subathon, so she made, like, she made, like, a little Sonic one, uh, so it's gonna, so she's got, like, a little Sonic one, so she did, like, little color palettes for the characters and stuff, and there's a little shadow one right here that she made, and it says Shadow. Uh, she made one that says, uh, Bitter Bits, um, as well, and used some of our old, uh, our old color scheme. So, and they say Bitter Bits, it's just hard to focus it. But yeah, she made them, and she's also, um, uh, she's, well, I don't want to say what she's doing with the other. There's a Chow one over here that she did. She also did one of a couple, like, things that I say. She did one that says, like, Hot Dig, uh, because <laughs> my dad used to say that, too. But yeah, so she, so she made these, and I figured I would do a giveaway for them, but, like, not do, like, a monetary thing. It'd literally just be put, like, your points in or whatever, because these can be shipped pretty easily. They can just, like, go into a little envelope. But she was doing all these. Uh, she made, like, a little Kale and Finn one, um, which are cute. So this one's, like, Kale's colors, which are, like, the kind of dusty, dusty brown and gray, and it says Kale, and she's got one for Finn that was, like, a little orange and white one. So she's been making these just to kind of keep her hands busy and stuff, and she's been having fun doing them. Uh, but, yeah, they're, re they're really cute. So we had she did these during the Sonic Subathon to try to keep herself busy. Um just because of like all the migraines and all that stuff too. She's been trying to... Okay, and here's the cute story that I was about to tell you guys that she just got to. She made two kale ones because she wanted one for me and one for her. <laughs> and she... <laughs> and we found out the other day, kale's a thief. They were sitting on the, on the coffee table and there was a Finn one, a Bella one, and a kale one. The kale one has disappeared. And we know who stole it. Because he always steals shit. He will steal like the smallest thing and he will take it somewhere and hide it. And she's like, Kale, did you steal your bracelet? And he's just like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like him, he's straight up like, he's just straight up a thief. Uh, so yeah, so these are really cute. But yeah, she's been, she did all these herself and she, she was worried about the size of them and stuff. And I was like, I think they, they stretch pretty well. Like even this smaller one fits like me. So, and I've got, I got horse wrists. So these are really, really cute. But yeah, she made these during a, she just bought a little kit for him and she was like, I'm just going to make something while, you know, while you're working and all that stuff, just to, uh, he is, he is 100% a rogue, one, like a thousand percent. He should be a mage, but he's, but he's a rogue. He ended up being a, he ended up being a rogue. He, uh, <laughs> he, yeah, but anyway, they're, they're really cute. And we're, we're just going to do this as like little free giveaway things because the Sonic Subathon was a lot of fun. So, uh, I have like maybe, at the end of it all, we're going to have like eight or ten, maybe, to give away. And like I said, we're just going to pack these up in little envelopes and just send them to folks. So these aren't going to be like crazy difficult ship outs. I think we can also do international as long as we uh, as long as we get like two stamps for it. So we'll just be able to throw it in an envelope and pad it a little bit and send it to you guys. Wrap it up in like a little couple pieces of paper just to make sure it doesn't get like crushed or whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, they're really cute. So she wanted to make those for people in chat that we could just give away for like little freebie fun things. So... If that's something you're interested in, just keep an eye out this week. I'll probably do a point redeem over like a couple days that you guys can just do, and then I can go into the thing for it, select everybody's name, and just throw them in the. Um, oh, I can neither confirm nor deny that, Jigakuro. No way. One of them's actually really fucking funny. One of the things that I can neither confirm nor deny, because we ran out of a certain character, and it's really fucking funny. Um, <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> anyway. Can neither confirm nor deny. 
Uh, but the, uh, yeah, they'll be, we'll just do like a little thingy where we can just roll it out, and then that way if people want to get, uh, people want to get one, then they can try to get one that way. I don't know if I can, like, make it to where, like, you get to pick which one you want. It'll probably just be, like, a random one, so, uh, which they all look good, so, I mean, you know. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure just cross your fingers and hope you get the shadow one, because everybody's obsessed with shadow, I guess. Speaking of stuff, uh, I want to thank everybody for the, uh, for the donaties. We had Nate with the 103 months. Jackalkins with the 40 months, old Valesim with the 102. God, I love the fact that people are just over 100 months just casually now, which is just absurd. Uh, but <laughs> thank you guys all for that. Red with the, re the gifted sub to Sith. T Quick gets an item sub to Norman Reedus Funky Fetus, which we do in fact have something similar to that. It's not exactly the Norman Reedus Funky Fetus. It's 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 Bitter Sink Baby from Playable Truck. But you know, I mean, it was whatever, dude. There it is. We got Honor with the 76 months. We got uh, we got Dog Dogma with the three gifted sub. Yelling about, uh, yelling about Gritty Goose, which I don't even know if we hit Gritty Threshold. Dolphin with the 74 months. Clean Biscuit with the 13 months as Gold Kappa. Woo! Man, can't wait. Can't enjoy it for the next 24 hours. Sturg with the $5 says Golden Kappa's not worth it, but since it goes to you, it's fine. Thank you, Sturg. I do appreciate it. Jiggy Crow with the dollar says, I've gotten this before and I don't think it didn't even work, which sounds about right. <laughs> Match with the dollar one second. And, uh... <laughs> Zach with a dollar. Then we had uh, Channel Talk with the 82 months. It says 82. I missed a few, but catching some vods. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well too, Channel Talk. Every time I see Channel Talk's name, I always think of uh, their Kenji character, which was hilarious. Uh, Walmart with a dollar and one cent. I don't know if you can get Golden Kappa after. I think you have to participate in the hype train, which I thought it meant like if we got another hype train within 24 hours, you could get it. But no, apparently you have to be here. And then if you contribute, you get it for 24 hours, and then you have it taken away from you. Which is pretty impressive. Also, don't forget if you manage to spooky ooky me with a notification sound, which I've got the I've got the volume cranked tonight. So if you uh, if you get ooga booga, uh, or if you can ooga booga me, you get VIP for the night. So uh, there you go. And I also have to get that a sub. You know, so just gotta get that a sub, do a little VIP. Whichever one of those is worth it to you, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Are we doing spoops? Yes, we are. We shut off the little things that Erica was making during the Sonic Subathon, which were Sonic-themed friendship bracelets, and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a giveaway on those this week. So we'll do like a little point redeem on that. It's not gonna be like a you have to donate or you have to do whatever. They're literally just gonna be a point redeem, and whoever whoever wins wins. And there you go. They're fun, really cute. She did them during the uh, during the Subathon, which is which is neat. Try to keep yourself keep yourself and her hands busy. Um, that's a good. I like that. Uh, I like that. That frog is just shit. I like that frog because he's not PP. Pee -pee. Like he's just some fucking frog. Like I appreciate him. So whoever whoever flicks gaming stuff is, I'm proud of them for at least not using PP for their frog. Thank God. I'm waiting for Silent Hill 2 to unlock so I can shove it on my deck. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. What are the odds that Silent Hill 2 remake uh, remake makes an appearance this month? Or do you want to save that for some other time? I'm not. I haven't decided on that yet. Uh, more than likely, we'll probably do it like early November because I it's at least going to be like two or three nights, probably. And I don't know if I want to soak two or three nights to Bloober, Bloober Hill, uh, especially when it's going to be a whole lot of me ranting about the original game and why it's like damn near fucking the perfect horror game ever made. So and I'm sure people are going to get sick of hearing that. So uh, anyway, um, so I'm not sure yet, but I, I would I would say if you guys are looking forward to playing it, then definitely play it and uh you know, enjoy it and do do the stuff and all that and uh, all the good stuff, all the good things. And I hope that hope that people enjoy it. Uh, remember, I'm 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 pretty weird when it comes to, to horror games. So uh, the remake's only seventy if you buy the early access single player, early access single player, isn't it? Or was it? Uh, I don't know. Or is that one 80 for early access? Early access 80. Again, it's not that I don't trust people. I, I actually trust you guys more than I trust the internet at large. But remember, I have I have very particular taste. There, there's a lot of horror games that I I hate. Remember that. Like that I'm just like, this is ass. Like this is terrible. And then there's a bunch of random indie horror games that I would put above, you know, uh, that, I mean, there's there. I, I would put like you know, if I looked at like the like the the Hall of Fame stuff, like there's there's games on there that I would put above, like big big fuck yeah, this is like highly rated, 
amazing whatever horror game that like was highly well reviewed and shit like that. Like I would put like the original like two Northberry Groves above a lot of those games, or like the Space Between by Christoph Frey, or some of Mike Klubnicka's games before he did uh, Buckshot Roulette, or like First Winter or Paratopic House in the Woods. Literally, literally any of them. Like I would, I would probably put that above that. Yeah, I'm de we're we're definitely gonna do mouthwashing. Yeah, for sure. One one hundred percent. You, you trust me, John? Do you? Do, do you? D4 X Pack supposed to come out today, three hours ago. Blizzard and launches man. Uh, still no ETA on when it's gonna be fixed and available. What? What? What's what's going on with Blizzard? What, why is like the WoW team just killing it and everybody, everybody else is just having a hard time? What, what's what's going on with that? <laughs> what's what's going on with that? Uh, to be fair, I think Signalist is the best horror game in years. You're not a fan of it. It's Signalist is really fucking cool. And I think that it's I think they do a good job in some spots. Signalist, like halfway through it, I was just kind of like getting exhausted with it. And I I still think the music's pretty good. I like the visuals. I don't like the contrasting like anime girl with the rest of the environment. Like, I feel like there's like a weird like mixture of style there that doesn't quite work for me because like I really like the way the space sta like the station kind of stuff is like designed because it's like very like that like weird kind of hard sci-fi like not well, hard hard sci-fi but like kind of like the retro sci-fi look of like alien and shit like that but then like the um you know I, just, I have like very specific complaints about signals I don't think it's like some shit game or anything like that I just kind of like lost just kind of like lost interest in it <clears throat> yeah I mean it's it's a it's a cool game but there isn't a hall of fame command um but we need to probably do something like that. Yeah, this is this is where we need this is where we need Dustin's massive web hosting skills, and we need some of Jigakuro's web dev dev skills, and then we can have like a nice Hall of Fame that's hosted somewhere that you can just see like the links to the games and like little icons for them and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. No need to explain yourself. We know you want to play some two more. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. Damn, I just interrupted Zach's notification. Do you like that? How I changed scenes. Damn, I want to put baby in the bucket. Check scene. I want to put baby in the bucket. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I like how I didn't realize the junk sent me a copy of a game called Scoof Simulator. I don't know what Scoof is, but you can collect socks. Okay, I remember you sending this, and I apparently forgot to hit accept gift. Because a Scoof is apparently like a Russian slang for like a dude who looks older than he is and is like creepy or something like that. I, I don't really remember what it was. It was some kind of weird slang and I, I don't remember. Zach, you really did not have to send me a copy of this, dude. You did not have to do that. I really appreciate it. That is very sweet of you. I had not picked up a copy of this yet. I figured I'd just pick it up whenever it was time. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Bogo's Binted indeed. Thank you for sending me a copy of that. Like I said, I'm not sure we'll get to it in October, but we'll definitely get to it because I definitely have to say words at some point about it. Um, should I go ahead and mark bad translation on the bingo sheet since it's Chilla? Chilla really doesn't have bad translation. Chilla has weird typos that don't make a lot of sense. Oh boy, now I got the pre-order! Oh, thank God. Well, thank you. Thank you, Zach. I really do appreciate it. That was very kind of you. Y'all give Zach some love. And also, and also go follow them when they stream. <laughs> they stream times. Go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Never played Corpse Party Party or Higarashi when uh when Cicadas Cry Games they do good anime horror melding. I wasn't trying to say that Signalist was uh, like anime horror, by the way. I meant like the style of the characters versus the style of like the environments is weird for me. I feel like there's like a weird disconnect there. I'm not saying like Signalist is like anime horror. They just use like the the style of the characters just doesn't really fit sometimes with it. Do you remember any good horror RPGs? I'm trying to find some good ones to play. Uh, there they exist. I don't know if I played any on stream, especially that like, because it's not normally my thing. Because I feel like the RPG format isn't super conducive to horror in general. Um, but I know people like Corpse Party a lot, but I don't know a lot about. I, I don't know a lot about that, but I know people like that one. It seems so. Um, <laughs> chill is like me. My fingies work way faster than the skull meat can keep up. I end up with weird typos and fragmented speech patterns. It's maybe some sort of sign of early onset mental collapse. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for everything. You guys are great. Uh, there'll be some new fun point redeems and stuff like that and dono redeems for uh, for Spooky Month. Uh, but hey, who's ready? By a show of dangles. 
Who's ready to Jisatsu? Parasite Eve would actually count as kind of like a horror RPG. Yeah. That's, yeah, that would actually kind of count. Not like exactly probably what people are looking for, but it would probably count, yeah. Parasite Eve's good. I mean, it's kind of terrible in some spots, but it's good. Darkwood's also kind of like a spin. Honestly, like, I would say one of the best horror RPGs is probably Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I know that probably sounds stupid, but I mean, I honestly, like, I, it's an RPG and it's horror themed. I mean, it's dark. The original Darkest Dungeon is probably one of the best. So, um, yeah, body horror, I'm like 50 50 on sometimes. It depends. It depends on what it is. Sometimes it can be done really, really well, and then sometimes it's like, fucking stupid shit. Like Eli Roth level of brain dead. <laughs> just like, not that he does body horror specifically, but like, you just that, that level of brain dead of like, wow, that's really crazy. That's that's really gross. You did a good job of making that really gross. I'm so scared now. Thank you for making gross practical effects. All right. Anyway, by a show of bitter, bitter baby, bitter baby in the sink from hallway playable test. Uh... <laughs> show is right for just that. <laughs> Which I think the volume's cranked on this. I'm really glad I locked the frame rate because guess what? There's no options. So that's really good. Supporter content can be toggled on and off. Don't worry, Chilla. I already have. <laughs> Don't worry, my man. I already did. Because, like, I love the fact that you get supported on Paymetron. That's fine, but I, you don't probably need to have it in the game. But I appreciate them for even having the option, because some games don't even give you the option. All right, so we got Waz to walk. We got Mouse to Mouse. We got a Skip to Skip. We got C to Poop. Which I was not ready for C to Poop. But honestly, it's a welcome addition. C to Poop. C to Poop is fresh. That's fresh off, that's fresh off the press. Hey, have you started on a new project yet? Ugh. The end of the game, everybody. Thanks for coming. Whoop. Ooh. <laughs> Getting H to UG. What are you dawdling about? You heard what I said. What are you dawdling about? You heard what I said. We're a small film company, and we need to keep coming up with new ideas. Are you keeping up with pop with what's popular and trendy these days? Okay, Disney small film company. All right. Not sure. You're young. Use your legs. Are you are you keeping up with what's new? Didn't you just ask that, you weirdo? I've heard that these days it's becoming popular to test one's courage by exploring an abandoned house. This house in city prefecture. I hear it's a bizarre house. Wait, are you saying I have to go there by myself? Who else is going besides you? Remember to take your camera. Why don't you come with me, you fucking bitch? You get in the car. You get in the car right now. Come on now. There's an extra seat. God. Get on my Mitsubishi bike thing and you fucking, you come in there and you just, we're going to ride in together. I just don't know if this game has any audio. Audio's turned up, but I just, I don't know if it's got any. <laughs> I don't know if it's got any right now. Don't forget if you ooga booga me, I got a gift to sub and also you get VIP. So good luck. <laughs> Man, I'm God, I'm glad I. Does this seriously not have audio? Uh. Did it. Why are graphic settings on very low? Dude, this is like classic chillas. I, I can't tell if like that. I can never tell if they want it on very low and if that's the intent or if like for some weird reason it just defaults to that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Has anybody played Jisatsu? Is it is it supposed to have sound? Or because I left it open for more than like five minutes, did it break? Because like. I don't think this has, I think probably because I, I think probably because I left it open for like five minutes on the menu, it probably just killed it. I didn't see, that's what I don't know is like if it's, I never know with Chillas because sometimes their games are set to high and they have like all these settings that are built in and then sometimes they're like, oh, it's low and ass. And I'm like, is that the, in, is that the intent? Do you want it to be low and ass or 
course there's is there some reason that it's low ass like what are we what are we doing what are we what are we talking about here did your sound card stuff switch to surround i had that happen in sonic frontiers only half the audio would play oh no there it is i think because we were i think because i left the game running i think because i left the game running too long that it probably broke it which I would not be surprised, because, like, I know... Oh, dude, there was voice acting for that! Holy shit, look at that! We're not gonna listen to it, because, like, we've already been through that, but... Well, I don't know how much voice acting we're talking about. It probably was just like... You should be VIP, because you scare me every day. <laughs> yes, I scare you every day. <laughs> Erica finds some way to be like... She'll be like, Nick, I'm dying to try this new drink. And I'm like, great. Okay, so so far it does look like they use uh, they use some of the assets from... Okay, so the game was set to low. Let me turn it back to low because I don't know if that's what the Chilla... I don't know if that's what Chilla wants. I don't know if that's what the Chilla hungers for or what. But who knows. I hear you coming. Was that, was that big scary crow? Oh, we went and got Erica's phone finally, so she, her phone's not dead. She's bringing in Bella. Here she is. There she is. The gremlin. All that breath. <laughs> All that breath. That was a pretty, that was a pretty scary. Uh, it was. It was loud. Yeah. Zelda said the bracelets are adorable. Oh, did you make another one? What's that one say? Just smile. That's cute. She did the little pride thingies on it and... Did little pride thing. She did little pride thingies on it, and she also did it purple, so that one's cute. That was certainly a sound. It sure was. Thank, thank you for bringing Bella. No, see, she made the mortal mistake, because now the cats are like, let me up in this bitch. See, but now all these bottles and everything look like ass. Did Sheila really want this to be in low? Oh my god, they're so confusing. <laughs> Dude, I love Sheila, but like... <laughs> I swear to god, sometimes they have no idea what they're doing. Ew! It's somebody pee pee in the house. Did <laughs> the nuggy breath? I'm gonna be really I'm gonna be really pleased as punch if Chilla can frighten me here. They they were going for it with the crow. You know the other nice part about Chilla is, for the most part, I will I don't fall out of the world. My God, is that really is that really the is that the is that the baseline now? I didn't fall out of the world in hallway flashlight. I got, I got stuck maybe once or twice, but I was able to get out, so like... And they were, they were stupid things. They were not like, they were not like things that a normal human would do. So they were on me. <gasps> Yay! Oh, dude, we got legs! Alright. That's one of our, that's one of our binjos, isn't it? God, binjo sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a fucking slur. I don't like that. <laughs> Why is there so many bins full of books? God! Alright, well I guess, uh, I guess I'm going back, I guess I'm going back to the door. With my, with my found footage, my found footage chess cam. Nice. The gate is open, the path is clear. Alright, who's been, who's been hanging chains from the ceiling again? A binjo, someone who binges on too many Bitterbits VODs. God, what a horrible type of person that would be. I do appreciate that the, uh... That the... the sp Who the hell is that? Is that sad booby Jesus? Who is him? God! <laughs> Who is that? Bro, I see you in the walls. Oh, that's right. I can, I can, I can, I can scrunch. I totally forgot about... What, what was the game that had C to Croach? Hmm. Yes, Jesus breaths. Oh, dude, is this based off of that one guy's, uh... Is this based off of that one guy's video where he, like, did, like, all the visual effects in, like, the old-ass house and, like, walked through it and it got, like, worse and worse as he, like, walks around in a circle and is, like, looking at it's, like, semi-burned and it starts looking like some Silent Hill-ass shit? 
Some people might know what I'm talking about, other people might know not know what I'm talking about, but like, I forget what the good dude's name is, but he's also making his own video game. Uh, which, I don't know what the progress on that is, but... It's kind of spooky. Uh, this is where my mother sleeps? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, that's cool. Does he, does he stream game dev stuff like twice a week? That's good. I'm, I'm turning the settings up on this. I, I don't know if you're supposed to, but like this looks like shit. And again, I, I don't know if I don't know if that's like the chilla intent or what, but like it looks awful. And I feel like the idea behind this is probably very stupid if it looks like shit. So, OK, so the, here, shout out to this. So this is obviously like some kind of like bath chamber. OK, and I love the idea that they have this fucking bathroom fan that's glued to the ceiling that looks nice and pristine. And then I'm literally walking on rotwood. What do I need this can of air for? Get that, get that good, get that good spritz. This is already ten out of ten, though. I mean, you could, you could, you could put this bitch up on YouTube and be like, ah. You know what I'm saying? Like they could easily, they could easily ooga booga that ass. Again, lots of cleaning supplies in here. There's a lot of them, for not a lot of reasons. I still can't get used to my heart rate being like in like the low hundreds for like the beginning of the stream where I'm like at my like most active and most loud and most chatty. That's so weird. Ew. Would you rather find blood or jelly on your floor? I guess it would depend on whose blood it is. If it was like recognizable blood that you knew where it came from, that'd be one thing. But, you know. <gasps> that? I want the bottle. Oh. I no longer want the bottle. My blood, then blood, not my blood, then jelly? Wait, wait, wait. So you'd be okay if it was your blood on the floor? Well, that depends. What's your... What do you, Where did the blood come from? This is the real question. You know what I'm saying? What did the blood come from, indeed? What do you think they'd be hanging on this bad boy? It's gotta be like doily trees, right? Because... There's no way, like, what are you hanging on that? Like, I guess you could do, like, maybe some shirts? And that's modeled after a real thing. I just feel like that's, like, it's not a lot of room. It's not a lot of room for clothing. Why does that look so bad? You see what I'm talking about? It's, like, supposed to be, like, transparent, but it's not. What? Why does that look like ass? <laughs> what? Dude, what's going on, Chilla? God. All right, great. Thank God, uh, blurry, blurry newspaper. Awesome. Thank you. Thank. <gasps> yes. Composite video, my man. Give me that shit. Oh yeah. Wait. Oh wait. Do I, I guess I gotta find the. I gotta find the Jusatsu. I can't read this. <laughs> I can't. They won't. They won't give me this. Oh, it's control. What are we talking about? What? Crouch? We're talking about crouch. It's C. Because apparently, apparently that's the norm and I'm insane for thinking control is like the normal scrunch. That's okay. It's understandable. There's many, there's many, there's many things I have the insane on. Okay, so I can't, I can't interact with that. I also can't like scrunch into it. But they're giving me, they're giving me the broken, the broken no opacity whatever for it. So I guess I have to I'm gonna have to Jusatsu out this bitch. I gotta find me a tape. The arrow telling you there's an item looks like the control logo. Oh, I see what you're saying. <gasps> Duck! Did the water stop? Shit. Hey everybody, look, it's chill as wash. Good for them. There's also a bunch of dead-ass flies in there, which is pretty cool. Okay, the water did not stop. I guess we were just far enough away. <gasps> I could do real reflections and chilla. It looks like shit, but we got it. Dude, good for them, man. All right. <gasps> the door shut behind me. No. Working reflections is a bingo card, by the way. Just throw that out there. All right, guys. Ooh. Oh, no. Dude, point bets just take too long. 
I was gonna say we should do a point bet to see if uh, to see if there's an Ooga Booga in the bathroom. Which I actually can't open up the bathroom anyway, so never mind on there being an Ooga Booga in there, so good. I mean, technically we could do a point bet right now, and we could be like, is there an Ooga Booga in the bathroom? Oh, it wasn't the bathroom, it was the goddamn sink out here. That makes sense. Now I'm gonna scrunch away because now that the now that the sink is turned off, the demons can come in here. Because they are fearful of the water. Alright, so we got a matter replicator in here, which is pretty exciting. What are we gonna do about that? We got a kettle. We got what appears to be like a bottle of like MSG or some shit. We got whatever the hell that is. We got aluminium foil and probably also wax paper. We've got this like water heater. Dude, Japan's infrastructure is so weird in some spots. Like, not all of it is, but like, there's things that you see, especially like in Chilla's games, and I'm just like, some of their infrastructure is so weird. Like, I'm assuming that this is like a water heater slash like whatever for like dish washing or something. I don't actually know. Because it's like, like some of it feels like devices that were built to like be added into like old infrastructure and convert things into like more modern whatever which i would assume like in like the city and stuff it's probably less that way i would assume this is more like countryside type thing lots of dead ass flies in here though man lots of dead ass flies is that hair in the you can put hair in the this is what this is the damn problem dude this is it you got hair in your conditioner they said it was an air conditioner dumbass not a hair conditioner. <laughs> you fools. Look at what you've done. Can't even can't even get air conditioner right. You got a hair conditioner up in this bitch. What is this wire doing down here? You'll probably wonder why the hell I do that do shit like that. Because I have like this weird affinity for why people choose to put certain things in spots in horror games. Because like there's a deli Unless it's like some shit ass asset flip, it's there's a deliberate choice to do certain things. And I find some of those like really fascinating because it's like, why, why, why put this right here? Right. Like, why, why do you have a stack of cr crumpled aluminum cans that have the labels ripped off of them specifically? Because there's no like generic labels and stuff on it. It's literally just, you know, whatever. Dude, there is so much compressed air in here. And like also Lysol and also Cheers. Be better if it was uh be better if it was like, you know, some red some red whatever. Wait, wait, wait. That reflection. Was that Limsa behind me? No. Tis my own reflection. From the light outside. The power within. The light within. I have almost frightened myself like five times, literally opening a door that I clicked that I clicked and then it opened like two seconds later and then that was my fault because I heard the sound and I'm like ah oh wait a minute that was me I did that turns out as it <laughs> as it all pans out I was my greatest threat the entire time are those flies giant insects I would normally say yes but like I think that the flies are just big dude flies are huge in Japan have you ever seen them Ooh, was that something twitching or was that like a light issue? Ah, classic. <sighs> something looking a little twitchy out here. Is that is that my light reflection? Oh, it's in the like the window or whatever. Okay. Got it. I'm going in this closet. <laughs> I have expected something to just be standing by. I'm leaving the closet. I'm, and I'm now exiting. I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. I hate this place. You know what? So far, though, man. Uh, interactable piano. Oh, come on, man. I even have hands. I even have use usable hands. What is this? Oh, okay. Awesome. <gasps> is that a spooky? Damn it. That's a fucking coat. Oh! Upset. I'm just hungry, dude. I'm hungry for a spooky. Flies are how they made soy sauce. I saw it on YouTube. It must be real. Yeah, that's probably that's probably correct. I think everything that you said was probably real. <laughs> I, think, I like the words you said. 
And I like how they're real. They are. They're real to me. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm still surprised my heart rate is like so low this year compared to last year. And this is with me taking my medicines and also drinking a cup of coffee before I started. <gasps> Does mother sleep in here? Is this where her sack is? Can I check the other side for like full sackage? Balls. <gasps> is this blood and feathers from the great beyond? It's, this is this is pretty cool so far, man. You know why? Because like you're getting like this kind of um, like I like I, I dig this like compared to some of their other stuff because first off it's a little bit different and uh, but the main thing is like you kind of got like it's like it's a little spooky just because you're kind of wandering around creepy land, but at the same time it's. I don't know, like, I feel like the pacing of it's interesting, because, like, they normally don't... I don't know, it's normally, like, weird, kind of, like, segments of dialogue and, like, interactables and stuff like that, so it's kind of cool to just have, like, the area, like, open to do stuff. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Good job, dude. Turn your light off, you idiot. You're so dumb. You're so stupid. Do I have to put this vi Do I have to put this VHS in here? Ha-ha! All right. Nice. Okay, now now I can just now we can see now we can see what this is a uh, now we can see what we're doing. Do futons count as mattresses? I mean, for what context are we talking about? Ooh, they be blessing. Ooh, are we a baby? Ooh, no, we're just a person. Oh, <gasps> they blocked out the face. Is this pornography? Why do I feel like the the sensor thingies like are not working correctly? Because again, like for a second there, it actually looked like the opacity was like correctly set, and then this time it didn't look correct at all. So y'all be blessing. This lady looks dead. What's she doing here, ma'am? You appear to also be dead. Do I need to do something about this? Can I see anything like in the other part of the house? We need to figure out the cat bless at some point. There's been like so many good moments of like bless this shit lately, and we don't have like new bless. But I don't know how exactly we're gonna do cat bless. Bro, it's breast Jesus! God, there's so many different Jesuses. I never thought I'd get like pastel, pastel breast Jesus. I just never, just never thought I'd get it. Oh, look, it's a little panda hoodie. Look at that. Very flat. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they starch in these bitches. Cause check that shit out. That song goes flattened. That's that pancake life. What is this? Is that like? Is that like bitter? Was that like bitter sink baby? Oh, it's the bird. Right, because there was the, there was the one earlier that we were like. Okay, all right. Eat. Oh my God, would you chill out on the bird? Jesus Christ! I'm a level with y'all. I didn't realize that was like a spade. I thought that was like a. I thought that was like a blowtorch, and I was like, are they gonna put the bird on the rock and then blowtorch it? I was like, because I feel like that's probably the worst, the worst way they can disp dispose of bird corpse. Oh, we've heard a sound. Actually, scratch that. It, probably, it wouldn't be like the worst way to dispose of it, but I feel like it'd be highly impractical and kind of stupid. <gasps> oh! Who is it? I'm coming. I'm Batman. Oh. I'm Batman. I'm coming. I'm Batman. Where'd it go? Batman's coming. I seen it. I know it's back here. I smell it. Uh, some, dude, these are some big ass stone walls. My God, wait, dude, was it the tree the entire time? Classic. Oh, we yeah, we got knees. This is this is a different character. We have different shoes, which I suppose 
Which I suppose that doesn't actually mean anything. No sprint, by the way. I don't know if that matters to anybody. Also, diagonal movement is locked, so no. But again, like I said before, I'll try. I try to call those things out whenever we, uh, whenever we do, whenever we do have them. It's got good, like, uh, it's got a like, good ambient sound so far too. Why did it? Did he just yankle my dankle over here? Oh, is it pee pee? Oh, oh, I uh, dude, I'm not clipping. I'm just walking. Why y'all think I gotta be clipping? I'm just walking. I didn't do anything. I'm literally just walking. Does it? Does it appear? Does it appear that I am doing something? Because if it does, in your opinion, does this qualify as HQ residential house? I'm calling your mother, and I'm going to tell her of the disruptions that you're causing in class. Oh, the poop pit. Well done. I'm perishing of hunger. Fetch me somewhat to sup. I love it all smooth, dude. Love it all smooth. All right, well, if you had bad translation, go ahead and check it off, because I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure fetch me somewhat to sup. Uh, probably, probably counts. The odor, the reek of mortality, bring it hither to me. All right, toilet man, I'm going to get me some dead ass. But wait, wait, wait. Do you want the dead bird or would you like the human? We, we have quite the menu tonight. We actually have two humans fresh uh, now. Guys, do you mind if I come and grab one of them crops? Yeah, see, they've got the, the blurred out face like correct there, but when we were in the room, it was all broken. I don't know what was up with that. Here I come, I'm bringing you the bird. I want you to think about this though for a second. I want you to imagine that you're Japanese man 65 and that a um, vac that an abyss in a toilet has just told you to fetch me some sup. And... Uh, and I want you to think about that for a minute. And I want you to also think about the fact that you then brought it some sup. And how stupid that is. It seems like there's something in the same spot we just left. What? Oh, 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 they're saying like, the, I guess, in the video. Oh, lady, I see you in the room. I see you standing there. I know who you are. You're not that pale ass lady though. So. That's pretty good, actually. The like weird, like building, like uh, music there. That's good. I like that. Yeah, this is like legit. This is good. And I would assume that if we go in that room. She will be gone. Uh, but we need to get outside to see if we have. Cause I need the I need the vidya. I don't remember. <laughs> Fetch me some sup. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we up to the concrete mixer. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. I like that. Yeah. So like, as soon the trigger is to open the door, but then that switches her over to the. Uh, to the coat rack, which we saw earlier because I even joked about I was like, is that a person? And as it turns out, it wasn't. It was a coat rack lady. There's also what appears to be some kind of television over there that's like on or some shit. <laughs> you think she failed clown school so they took her nose? Yeah, probably. Oh, that's not television. That's the uh, that's the butt room. There's breast Jesus, my man. High five. You guys ever be high five and breast Jesus? Ah, oh, there's the Tanuki. He's waiting outside the door now. God, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> I like Lady in the Window. T tanuki outside the door was pretty dumb. <laughs> Why has he moved? You stupid Tanuki. Did I ever tell you guys that I told, uh... I had a buddy of mine that I worked with. He was a little crazy, but he was cool. 
Uh, he wanted to start, like, a, a rap-slash-hip-hop radio station in the year of, like, 2011 or some shit. Um, and he did. I'd tell you the name of it, but that would, that would dox them, so I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, he did it, and I told him, like, about Tanuki's, and I had big balls, and he said that he was gonna talk to a couple, like, local rappers, because he really wanted to, like, have a track dropped about that Tanuki sack. Uh, and how he was gonna, like, tell him, he's like, yo, we should make a track about that Tanuki sack. And I'm like, yeah, you should. You should definitely, you should definitely make, you should definitely make, uh, an entire song about the, the mythical balls, the, the, the gigantic testicles of a creature that does not live here. Yeah, he wanted to make an entire, like, rap track about the Tanuki sack, because the idea that they had massive balls was awesome. The hair beast is underground! Don't move. Don't move. What if the hair beast is one of the hairs of the Snooky balls? It could be. I do like I do like how they whip the, they whip that son bitch around when you, <laughs> I just love them like slapping it around. Oh my god. You know, you'd think with the fact that this house is made out of garbage, uh, that they could easily just slip through that window, but apparently that is just way too much. That's just way too much to do. Make a song about mythical creature balls is what I, the first thing I came into. Okay, like, is that any different than any other night? Are you, are you even surprised at this point by those words, or nah? Yeah, like, so far, this slaps the dick off of, like, the kidnap and, like, karaoke and bath bathhouse re dude re bathhouse fucking sucks like the more i thought about that i was like and i went back and watched the vod the remake of the bathhouse fucking sucks like the very beginning of it's pretty good the rest of it just sucks it's like I i'm shocked at how worse that game got it's like it's like they went like modern chilla isms and it just made it just it just made it worse like it, it's and it's so weird like I wanted to like it, and the more, like, I thought about it, I was like, it was, it's just ridiculous, like, it gets just ridiculous, like, it was, like, pretty, it was pretty good, like, the whole thing, but, yeah, it just got worse and worse. Is this a new, is this a new artich artichoke? No, that's, a, that's the same artichoke that I was looking at earlier. Alright, time to shove this bad boy in. Let's see what just, we got going on. And you know what the funny thing is? When I looked at like the when I was making the thumbnail for it, and I looked at the original bathhouse, the original bathhouse uh, Steam art versus the new one, I was like, this was a good indicator that this game was going to be worse. <laughs> I was like, which normally, I wouldn't judge a book by its cover, but after playing it, I'm like, straight up, the even like the like the promotional art on Steam is worse. Like the whole thing is in general just kind of worse. Now, did we go into the doo doo hole or? Fetch me the head of the carp. Bro, conveniently enough, we got Gold Carpa in the chat tonight. He's visiting from Los Angeles. Let's give it up for Gold Crap. All right. Who does who does have gold crap for the next twenty four hours? You guys, you, are you are you are you juiced? Are you juiced out of your absolute hole? Ready to rock, ready to roll. Oh hey, the coat's not dirty in the past. Nice. That's pretty cool. I'm a level with y'all. I, th <laughs> I thought it was pointed at the rock, and I'm like, what? What could the interact on the rock possibly be? Am I? Am I? Am I fishing with a with a stick? Oh shit, dude! How do you fucking get him? Did I lose because I? Oh shit! I gotta try again. Here we go, gamers. You ready? Right, let's go get him. Mm. 
What is what is uh what is suck? Okay, so like left click is reel in. I guess let's just wait. Yeah, we got him. Dude, we fucked him up. We got him. Did y'all see me do it? Did you see me gamer it? Oh, that's cool. Oh, dude, that's neat. Like, they, like, censor out the pond. Oh, that is neat. I, I do feel like it's broken, though, because that doesn't seem right that it would just be a black square. Because they had, like, the... Because they had, like, the, the other thing going on, so I'm kind of surprised as to why it just looks like shit. But cool idea. Cool idea, like, the idea of it being, like, omitted. I don't know if it's right, because... The portraits in the hall actually had, like, a a transparency filter on them to block out the faces. The interact icons also look wrong. Uh, like, they don't have, like, transparency layers on them. And that also looks like it's supposed to have, like, some kind of transparency layer, but I don't really know if the... So I have no idea. I think the fuzzy one is a lower-res version of the black bar texture stretched to normal size, making them fuzzier. Do you, do you think that's why it's on very low? God, I guess let me fucking roll this bitch back. Pray, sever its head, and convey it hence to me. Art thou unable to manage it on thine own? Then procure another to execute the task. Are you serious? I like how you fed this dude doo-doo earlier, and like now you're like freaking out over like, I don't want to cut the head off the fish. Like, you already fed Satan some like doo-doo, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to hear it, man. All right, well, I guess, I guess let me... Oh, dude, we can use the toilet. That would work. That's what I was thinking, was use the shovel, but the problem is the hair beast. Do you think I could use the... Do you think I could use... Nope, it's still... It's still just a black bar, so it just looks like shit, I guess. I don't know, dude. Why does it keep doing that? That's like, that's like one of my few complaints so far, is like ripping your fucking camera away from you. Dude, oh my god, what? Do you want to give it to like Gollum over here? Is he in the pond? Here. Wait, why does it keep yankling my dankle over there? Oh, I guess it's just spinning you around. Uh, oh yeah, maybe, maybe Gollum under the house can like rip this thing's head off for me. Hey, can you... I hate you, hair lady. Pray sever its head and convey it hence to me as a big energy statement. <laughs> I remember my first time uh, fishing and catching my first fish. No one told me the lake would end up with a giant sensor block. I mean, it's pretty scary when that happens, isn't it? Pretty scary when that uh, when that goes down. I do have to say though, I, this is this is much better than most of the other games. I'm actually digging this so far, dude. Okay, I see. The, would you just have to interact with it again? I do not desire the fish corpus. Pray sever its head and convey it hence to me. Okay, I mean, what do you want me to do? Like, slam its head in the door, dude? Like, what What do you want me to do? Dude, st what? Oh my god, okay. Oh, you can go over here, everybody. It's okay. We all fi we figured it out. You're allowed. <gasps> do you think, do you think booby Jesus? Do you think he's gonna be looking at me like that while I sever, while I pray sever the head? I do think he's. Oh, you could use the piano wire to do it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's up to you, really. So we're in the pla we're in the past right now. It is there to prevent you from wandering, but I was trying to go back in the house, and unfortunately, it wouldn't let me go back in the house in the direction I was familiar with. But I guess it wanted you. Oh, I smell it. I smell it. What you doing over there? You get out of the kitchen. Hey. Hey. Mother. Be gone from this kitchen. I must sever the creature's head with this spigot. Do you mind? Do you mind if I were to cut? Dude, that's like the tiniest eggplant I've ever seen. Oh my God, look at it. Holy shit, that thing's small. 
Well, she she be cutting that she be cutting that onion good though. Oh, she be getting it, dude. Yeah, cut that onion, girl. You got it. Nice, good form. Digging it. All right. Well, here's Dad, I guess, who's reading the newspaper. Are his eyelashes in his nose? Oh no, that's his glasses. Okay, I'm sorry. I turned it back down to low asshole setting, and now I can't tell what anything is. Maybe I have to. There's probably. What's the matter? God, you look like. <laughs> look, I know we got dead people in the house. Doesn't mean we have to cosplay as them. What do you have there? Don't tell me you want me to cut off its head. Don't bring that any closer. Go throw it away. Give me the knife. Give me that. Give me that knife out of that hand. Whoa! That actually was the thing. Is just to crunch and grab the knife. Nice. Wait a minute. That's a fucking hacksaw. Boy, shit has escalated. Dude, am I hiding? Am I hiding in the house and like I got a hacksaw in a closet and I'm like, I'm like crunch scrunch on this fish. <gasps> the fish is se it's segmented. The head is ours. Nice, clean clean cut. It's a lot of blood, dude. Dude, what did you do, you idiot? How many koi do you have? Holy shit. Dude, you got too many koi. Bro. Bro, that's way too many koi. See, this this is the problem with low setting land over here. You see what I'm talking about? Like the blood is like like disappearing. That's awful. Let me fix this. Oh, we got we got big drone going on. Watch out. That's like a sub base drone too, which is the best because this is the easiest to balance your audio around. Oh, they're still alive. Hey, hey, hey. Mom, guess what? <laughs> Look how the door is locked. <laughs> they locked your crazy ass out. They're like, the koi butcher is over there. Don't do it. Lock, lock his stupid ass outside. He's a fool. We were, yes, we were quite literally hiding in the drawer with a hacksaw. Okay, so I remember the exit is over here by Breast Jesus. So we're gonna walk outside, and I'm gonna hope the hair goblin doesn't try to eat my ass. And instead, I'm gonna give this to I'm gonna give this to Poop Jesus. Dude, what a picky toilet demon. Like when you really think about it, like if I were a toilet demon, I probably wouldn't be that picky. That just feels like that just feels like unnecessary pickiness. But yeah, this is good though. I like this. Like this is actually like probably one of their better games in the last like uh honestly I'd say like two years. Cause like and honestly I always say, man, we always we always do chill as art games for better or worse. We always do them for spooky month. So it doesn't really, really feel like spooky month until we've done one of these goddamn games and they're either decent or doo doo. That's that's not really true. It felt like spooky month on night one, because like the games were good. We got to do hallway flashlight. You get what I'm saying, though. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tradition at this point. So like, it's fun to, it's fun to fire one up that we haven't done yet because it just always feels like a, just something we do every month, you know. Part. It's kind of like listening to like the, uh, it's spooky month or any of that stuff. No, I'm saying, was it a VHS tape? Correct. It was. Yeah, it was definitely a VHS tape. I'm sorry, I didn't call that out. I thought that was like very obvious. Are we back in, uh, we're back in, like, modern day, right? Yeah, so we need to scrunch around a little bit. Why are we listening to the hand from the Majora's Mask in? Do you remember the whole conversation we had about the Akamanto and, like, if the toilet paper demon from Majora's Mask was actually the Akamanto? I don't think it is. I think it's literally just toilet, toilet demon, because it's funny and stupid, but... Because I don't think... Well... Nintendo back then would do some shit like reference that, but I don't. The Nintendo modern day Nintendo is not gonna do that shit. Ew! Why you got blood hand? Mannequin, check it off. Crash test dummy. Oh, was this was this where we were scrunching the Gwinch, as it were? I guess not. I thought it was. Do 
Ooh, something's gonna grab. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck just happened? What the hell, man? Did we just get sock and sandaled? Oh, I can't see anything. Is that obnoxious eating sound? Yes. Because there was also a radio over there. Now, I don't know... I don't know what I need to do for this. Okay. So we got, okay. Okay. That's good. Hey, can one of the mods, or I think just Jacob Kuro is here tonight. Um, can you do me a super solid? Can you make a, a little thread in uh, the general area thingy for bingo bingo winnies where people can post their completed card and we can look at them after the game we're doing that'd be awesome if can do if not i can do it right after this that way people have a place to post it. what what was that what the who was phone dude damn Was that what the that what the toilet of Skibbity sounds like? Is this painfully slow movement? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, painfully slow movement. That's definitely Again, most bingo things you'll probably hear me call them out. Um that one's like, oh wow, this is so fucking bad that like Oh shit. Is she dead or is she Katatsu? I can't tell. Cause like, I've had the. Oh, that's a big pee pee out there, dude. Big pee pee. Oh. Oh. Scary. I get a little. I get a little sniff. Kind of like, kind of like squint. And it's a neat concept, though, man. I like that a lot. I love mom there. The crazy noise. Oh, we gotta run. Ah! It's a doing it again. Oh, neat. Look at that over there. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It's spooky. How long did we watch this? Oh, he wants to wait. Okay. I legit thought the father had gone insane as well. And that he was trying to like, he's like, get out of here, bird. Those eyeballs are mine. Because he's pissed at us now, because I guess we cut off the koi head. So, no, it actually wasn't Bad Daddy. He actually appears to be angry that we fucked shit up. Which, let's be real, we did. We did. Now, I am a little curious as to what the two what the two corpses at the beginning were supposed to represent. Because I guess they were having like some kind of funeral proceeding or some shit, but... This effigy possesses... A, possesses adorn it with a lock of grandmother's hair. And convey it unto me. Grandma, Grandmama. Oh, do you think Grandmama was in the hair conditioner? Press one if you're looking like an alien, dude. Hello, Breast Jesus. Okay, so I'm assuming that Grandmama was, uh, that her hair was in the hair, the hair conditioner. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. That's not an alien, Sturg. That's a human. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't be posting humans when we're talking about aliens. That doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> when the effigies pops up and it's so fucking big, it just gets in the way. Because <laughs> you, you know what's cool about this so far is that like, it, it's kind of got the same thing or similar thing going on with like the caregiver, but like it's a little bit more like the 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 stuff is just kind of like unraveling as we go through it, you know. So. It's got like a similar, it's got like a similar feel like the caregiver, but it feels a bit more, uh, you know, the whole kind of like wander around and 
Dude, like, legit, the fucking... <laughs> the effigy is the most frightening thing yet, because it keeps just popping up in my face. I'm like, ah, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Bro, we gotta fix these pants. What the hell happened with that? Actually, what is going on with those pants? Stop it, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep going. <laughs> just keep playing the video game. You don't have to sit here and analyze the pants. Oh, <gasps> dude, Jesus Christ. I fucking knew it, man. They should have just stuck to Shinto shit. They should have just they should have avoided Jesus. He's scary. Oh <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh right, we need a lock of her hair. Okay, that means we can get we don't want to get grabbed by we don't want to get grabbed by dad. I do kind of wonder what happens, though, if you get grabbed by the ghoulie. Alright, Dad, you gotta chill for a second, because I'm gonna sniff. I just need to squinch in. How does he not notice? Dude, there's no way. What? I know he is blessing out of control right now. Does he seriously not see us squinching some hair? You gotta be kidding me. There's no way he didn't hear us, like, squinge in here. Alright, well, the effigy now has some sweet hair. So... Alright, Dad. I'm going... I'm, I'm going outside. I'm a... I got some hair that I needed for... My... My school project that I'm working on. We'll see what the project... We'll see what the project is, is... They, they want us to... They, they want us to... Um... Die. So, we're doing this really cool project where we get, like, a demon that's in a hole that's a toilet. And, uh, then we gotta get grandmama's- grandmama hair, and then, uh, then it, it's cool. What was in his hands? A cross. And I know what you may be asking. A cross from what? Look at that effigy! Dude, it just keeps popping up! I'm like, okay. Calm down, effigy. Calm down. No obnoxious filters or anything in this one, though. A little weird that it was on like very low by default. Not really sure what's up with that, but you know, you know. Hey, the effigy's here now. Nice. No! Ah! But but what if effigy was kill? Oh! This really is good. I like this. Having a good time. Having a good time yucking it up. But like, yeah, this is good. I like this. Has there been like an instance where Jesus like actually protect? Because like I feel like he does a really bad job of this. Like the demon attack, but Jesus do not protect. So getting really sick of that. I guess I need to go outside because that was where we got the. No, I guess not. I was thinking. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, so do we have to keep? Knocking the effigy's head off. Oh, you think Jesus like straight up? You think he sent the demon? Yeah, probably. That's probably what's going down. Good ambience and everything, though, man. Like they they really did they really did do a good job of this one. Were there people who really didn't like this one? It's the man. Um, yeah, I dig this. I think this is good. I am hungry. I am hungry for an Ooga Booga, though. I, I do want to get Ooga Booga a little bit. I crave it. I crave its delicious nectar. Yes. Something about that is so, so dry, and it's so funny. <laughs> just the idea. So we're at the end of a hallway here. We just hit a... I didn't break any... What are you talking about? The game told me to do it. It told me to use... Uh, the head. Now did that... Wait, did that shut on its own or did I click it? I'm actually not sure. From what I remember the last time you played as Jesus, you spent a lot of time dissolving people into sparkles and trying to ride a flying plane before ending the world. <sighs> Dude, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Good. Chill us. I, man, dude, that's good. Good job. Holy shit, that's one of their best. That is one of their best Ooga Boogas ever. Good job, dude. That was fantastic. Oh my god, that was so good. 
That was so good. I am so proud of them. Holy shit. That is legitimately one of the best Chilla's art moments ever. Period. That is one of their best. That was absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, I just gotta... I just gotta drink it in for a second. Oh my god, that was good. That was like the... Oh, dude, that was so good. Look at how pumped I am. Big 124 on that. I'm loving it. That was awesome. Legitimately, what a great spooky moment. Like, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, so, so good. I love the doors just automatically closing, by the way. Those are great. We haven't found, uh, we haven't found another tape yet, though. Um. Oh, dude, like, no, that, that deserves a clip. That's great. That was so good. That was legitimately one of their best spookies that they've ever done. Fantastic. <laughs> dude, that's good, too. <laughs> Holy shit. And the lights. Oh, man, that's great. They're doing so good with this. Oh, they're, this is great. Oh my god, this might be a Chilla's art game that lands on, like, Hall of Fame. Holy shit. I can't believe it. They're ki this last part is killing it. Oh my god, they're killing it. What? Where? Oh. Where is it? Like, it's, it's, it's good. That's really good. That's, what, that's probably one of the best, like, spooky, ooky moments from, like, any game that I've seen in a while. Like, that was really good. The fabric physics were cool. Like, all of that was cool. Can I go out yet? No, we're still stuck. Okay, so we got, uh, what is it? Four? Four of the dolls, I think, so far? We got the one in the bathroom. We got, I don't know if there's one in here in the kitchen. No, we did, we did the one in the kitchen. Was there one in the... Oh. Was there one in the bathroom? I don't know. Well, let me go, let me go in the shower. There is, there's like, there's like sludge bucket over here, though. I don't know if like the, I don't know if like the sludge bucket will like lead you to the, lead you to the dolls. Damn, I, that was so, man, I'm so thrilled. That was great. God, that was good. I'm so legitimately proud of them for that. Was there one in here? I also can't remember if they have uh, interactables on them. Okay, there's, no, there's the bird. Dead ass crow. I got my chat just like stop moving, which terrified me because like it scrolled up a little bit, I guess, by some for some weird reason. Again. Nice. That was cool. Good. God, good good use of like the environment there. That's awesome. Let the doll head fall on the piano, you know, like that's that's great. Like that's really good. Legitimately, like, because I, I even joked about the piano earlier, but that was, uh, that was really good, letting it fall on the piano to actually give you, like, a spook. Oh, no, chat, chat was not broken. It literally was just moving slow. Okay, never mind. We're good. I thought I accidentally scrolled up. That was my fault. Okay, so we've done... Five of them, I think. Was that it? Was it five? Six, maybe? So that's a that's a good point, Luigi. That that wouldn't have made that sound, would it? Do you think Jesus Jesus, do you know? Do you know where the extra doll with the dead head is? Of course you don't. I thought for a second that might be AI Jesus, but I don't think he is. Then again, then again, I mean, that could be like sad AI Jesus. I have no idea. I definitely thought that was going to be gra grandma's hair. I. Oh, I guess that didn't make sense, though, because it wouldn't have been grandma's hair because we were in the uh, the past the past time. So, yeah, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have made any sense. That would have made no sense. I'm dumb. We didn't pick up a tape, did we? Because I would assume that you get all of these uh I would assume that you get all the dolls whoever did the uh hydrate by the way I'm I'm going to I'm going to hydrate after this game's over don't worry just remind me to remind me to sip <laughs> remind me to slam it 
that that's pretty good too. I like him. They they've done a pretty good job with him too. It's it's kind of stupid, but honestly, sometimes having like a stupid thing works pretty well. Oh, is it in here? Maybe. Nice. <gasps> the key. Wait. It just says two. Wait, what the fuck's the key go to? I mean, obviously the key goes to two, but you know, whatever. How you guys digging this one so far? You like it? I wasn't sure about it like halfway through. I was like, oh, I don't, I'm not really, you know, it's good, but like, it, it's okay. I'm kind of digging it. But like that, the couple, like this bit right here, some of the, some of the setups have been so solid. So good. Oh yeah, don't forget to use your keys. We got a key emote. <laughs> a key emote, as it were. <laughs> yes. So there's probably one in a lockbox somewhere, but I don't know. I don't know where there was there a locked door? Maybe the bathroom? No, that wouldn't have a fucking key. Like, that's stupid. Uh Maybe like this shed outside, but we can't get outside right now. Um. Oh, maybe the front door is locked and that was what we needed the key for or something. No, that's not it either. I feel like there was like a, a lot. Oh, wait, there's this area over here with the mannequins. Yeah, we didn't go in here yet. Um, I just don't. Oh, wait, no, I guess we did. Well, shit. I don't know what. uh. I was, I was, I was, I was, would why Nick sounded like he was in an empty room, but I forgot I have you on two screens. You know what, though? I appreciate it. Thank you for watching twice. <laughs> Maybe we should do that one night called Watch Twice Night. <laughs> in order to watch the stream, you have to put the stream up on two different things. And if you don't participate, we'll know. Alright y'all, am I going crazy? Where is where is two box? And don't say he died. <laughs> when I saw this game, by the way, I like it all I could think of was like what, what is like the, the massage the massage thing? Is it Shiatsu, I think? Hey man. Well I can't I can't get in there. Uh it wasn't to the door that slammed shut and broke. Uh, I don't think it's anywhere in here. There's no like inventory screen, so I can't look at it and see what it's uh see what it's called. Um So I'm not really sure what this key goes to. I was also trying to see if there was like a locked uh there's like a locked door somewhere. This isn't the game's fault, by the way. I think this is 100 percent on me. I just I just think I'm stupid as shit. Don't know where to go. Wait, Walmart, didn't you just say front door? Am I going nuts? Didn't I just reply to that? Oh, shit, there's like an attic. Holy crap. Dude, I didn't even know. Oh, well, that's sick. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the key goes to like that? Or maybe it's like one of these doors here, or... Something... <laughs> Use the phone translator on the key tag? No, I just make Jigakuro translate, because they actually know a little bit of Japanese. Uh... Actually, they know a lot of bit of Japanese, not just a little bit. That's what I'm thinking, too. I'm thinking that it's like a door to the yeah to the second floor, maybe. But now that we know that the the attic exists, I, I don't know how to get to it, though. Because it seemed like it was maybe so it was the stairs are here, which they go into like that room over there, which I thought maybe there would be like a. Oh, well, I guess there's. I guess there's a room over there that we might be able to squinch into. I I don't know. Did we just kind of miss it? Like I said, this is... Oh, well, here we go. I told you it was on me. One, 100, 100% on me, dude. I knew it. I knew I just walked right past it. Which is... Which is pretty common with me in horror games. I don't know why that is, though. Maybe it's because, like, I don't get... I feel like sometimes my lack of getting Ooga Booga kind of fucks me over in these... Because I think like, oh, here we go. Okay, 
Because I feel like sometimes they use, like, the scaries to, like, lead you in certain directions, and I just... I just miss them sometimes, or, like, don't really pay attention to it, because I'm too busy being, like, whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, Jose. I'm not... <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. Talk about talk about top ten rooms. I'm not walking in if you fucking paid me so much goddamn money. Be like, hey Nick, you wanna go into the second floor shit attic room with eight million dolls with like weird ass glow eyes? Be like, no, nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just gonna take my tape. And I'm just gonna leave before the dolls start eating my ass. Too late. Back it up. They shut the door behind me. Mark it off on your bingo cards, kids. Oh, they didn't just shut the door behind me. They fucked me on this one. <laughs> it punched through the paper! This is why you don't build your house out of paper. Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Excuse me. Can I can I get in there, please? Hello? Hello? <gasps> Scary window. Can I get up here? <laughs> the crow. <laughs> hey man. You have to, don't sniff your armpit in front of everybody. That's just weird. That's just fucking weird. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being a crow? <gasps> Ooh, girl, I don't fucking like it. That's not good. No. Girl, I don't like the hair on the ground. And I don't like the bag on the head of the doll. And I don't like a lot of the things I'm looking at right here in Jisatsu land. Which, I don't even know what that means, by the way. I probably should have looked that up. Probably would have been interesting to find out. Nick said attic again, so I'm gonna mark attic and basement. Yeah, definitely. Are you are you kidding? Yeah, no, for sure, mark attic. Yeah, that's it. Again, most of the most of the entries are a little bit more like straightforward than anything. Like, yeah, it's definitely attic. We're in the attic. <laughs> We're in the attic with scary fucking dolls and shit. For sure, that counts. It's like one hundred one thousand percent counts. Oh. It's, it's an attic. Like, it, it seemed like it was like an attic, like, storage kind of area thing. Fuck it, just count it. I don't care. Where the hell are we going? Or at least it felt more like an attic than anything. Just check it off. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. I thought for a second we were, like, the dead body getting dragged or something. I was like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we're back in, uh, we're back in past land. And I guess now we know that there's like a secret passageway down here, I guess? The life hath departed from Grandfather. Appears he hath met his end whilst bathing. What did he do? Damn, dude, did Grandfather just die? Or did we kill? Remove Grandfather fingernails and fetch them unto me. All right, bro. You so far you've eaten. Okay, I want to talk about your diet for a second. So so far this man's diet consists of koi head, I'm um, hair, and fingernails, which leads me to believe that he has like an issue with keratin. Now I could be wrong about that, but you know the toilet paper says otherwise. Can we talk about the fact that there's toilet paper slash paper towels actually stored in a storage room? Like, can we talk about that? This is a house and not an apartment. Wait. Wait, what? Yes, this is definitely this is definitely a house. Did he did he eat the whole bird though? Oh yeah, I guess he did eat the whole bird. Yeah, I couldn't remember if we had like removed some part of the bird. He probably wanted the bird fingernails, to be honest with you. Alright, so grandfather died. He died while bath. So we have to open this bath up. Dude, you so dumb. How'd you even do that? You even had the bucket, which says something. All I can remember is that the silly little... Dude, why do you have fucking, like, wire cutters slash needle nose plot? Is he wearing sunglasses? <laughs> this... Oh, bathtub full of blood. That's another one. So we got blood tub. Oh, God, look away if you don't like finger crap. You might have pica and not, like, a physical dietary need. Yeah. Definitely. That's what it is. That's, like... Oh, you got you got to sprunch each of them. All right, so we got we got blood tub. We got dead. 
Oh, the title has two different meanings. What if they were lying and grandfather actually was just asleep and then he like wake up and he's like, oh my God, why did you steal my fingies? Can you imagine? Can you imagine dumbass grandson comes in, you try to take a tub, you try to take a little nap in the tub and his ass just shows up and starts taking your fingernails and you're like, bro, well, we got him. We got him clean, my man. Clean fingernails coming on in, freshly washed. Who wants some? Yeah, this is good so far, man. They, uh, they, they, they nailed it. This, this is, this is like what I would hope they were doing. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Can I go through this part? This is actually really similar to the caretaker now that I think about it, because the caretaker also had like some weird like subterranean like shit basement, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did anyway. This is just an end of a hallway here, right? <gasps> toilet land. Oh, dude, that's a nice ass toilet. Dude, we fucked up. We fucked up big. So I guess I guess we're just not taking subterranean toilet. That sucks. Ooh, there it is. There's that scary bastard outside. It would like the black bar thing is actually pretty interesting. Like the idea of it being like omitted is pretty fucking cool. Oh, we can go outside, but that's probably a terrible idea considering the screech beast is out there. But I think the fingernails are pretty easy to drop off over here. So I'm just going to drop off these fingies before we, uh, <laughs> just going to drop off these fingies really quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Honest to God, that bathroom probably was the nicest room in the house, like straight up. <laughs> That's pretty undeniable. But yeah, dude, the screechy, the screechy squelch beast just like sitting outside. That was pretty good, too. Pretty good, dude. And kind of like the, the rearranging of the house, too, of like throwing like different, you know, trash on the ground and stuff, depending on. Oh, okay, so we can get in here now. Which I would assume there's like some demon that's like in the toilet. Whoa, it does not like if you scrunch. Holy shit. I'm a backup. I'm a backup because I don't want to get eaten by the toilet blood, man. Hello. Hey, the VHS. Nice. Hey, we guys, everybody, they're going to get us. Oh, man, I was hoping. You know who else was hoping? Bird, bird duck, bird duck, vampire duck, or whatever the fuck his name was. Bird. Bird cat, vampire, duck, fuck, whatever the hell his name was. I, I, I can't remember his name. Farchizio should have been his name. Ooh, are we gonna do like a? Ooh, dude, I hope they do it, y'all. I'm, I'm fingers crossed. Come on, mirror scare, here we go. Yes, all right. The turn around, they're gone. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice one. All right. I like it. I dig it. I'm sniffing upon it. <gasps> the TV's gone! No! What do you guys think it went? Do you think it went down in the, uh... Do you think it went down to, like, the basement place? Here's the problem, though. I don't really remember where the basement thing was in the context of everything else. So... Yeah, not only do we have working reflections, we also got an Ooga Booga from it. I kind of feel like for the most part, if you see working reflections, you should probably just expect an Ooga Booga because like that means they kind of went out of their way to make sure that it functioned correctly. So they're probably going to do something with it more often than not. Not every time, but more often than not, if they spent the time making reflections work, it's either it's either because they wanted to prove that they could do it and make it not suck or they just they're going to be like, oh, dude, we're definitely going to Ooga Booga with this shit. Watch us do it. It's either go outside or it, it's got to either be outside or it's got to be oh, okay. So we can go outside. I just don't know where the where the VHS thing would have gone. Maybe into like the demon's toilet. Which I can't believe I'm saying that that there's like that there's a game that I'm like legitimately considering like the best chillas yet that I've done and slapping this bitch on the Hall of Fame to the point where 
I would be like... <laughs> like, hey, do you remember the toilet demon? But like, yeah, dude. If it was a CRT, it was probably stolen by a hipster. Probably not a hipster, it was probably stolen by a video game enthusiast. I really do think half the reason I like this is because it is like, it's, it, it is very much like the caretaker. Not like, not like exactly though, because the caretaker is like, oh, the elder knew what was going on the entire time and she's like a wild ass crazy person or some shit. Whereas this is more like just demonic forces are at play. So, oh, there's three, uh, there's, oh, there's a lot of crosses down here. Holy shit. Damn, dude, that's a lot of them. Bro, is that Jesus and Mary and where is Jessif? Oh, that's kind of creepy, actually. Oh. 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 Religious iconography. Religious iconography. Oh, that was cool. You actually saw the Mary face right there for a second. Invert each cross within the abode. Okay. So... All right. Well, we do we do know where a couple of them are. I know one of them is like in the one of those rooms. The room with like four drawers on like the side of whatever. Oh, can you get down here from outside? Oh, it's it goes to toilet. OK, I get it. So to this is where this is toilet man's house. You're just going to click inverted cross. I would say it's a safe bet to go ahead and check off invert. Go ahead and check off inverted cross. The true nightmare is that this dude's been walking around in socks for this. Which, like, can you imagine walking around in gravel pit down here with socks on? God, what a nightmare. Have we had inverted cross yet? Uh, no. This, this, I mean, considering he just said to flip the crosses in the house, though, I would assume that you will see inverted crosses here in, like, two seconds. Now, if we don't, that would be... That would that would be pretty shocking. I would be surprised. Are those footsteps? Or is that something else? Not the radio. Sounds to me like scary footsteps. I don't think the bathroom had a cross in it. Honestly, it doesn't have a lot of room in the first place. I can't even like move around in this this son of a bitch. It makes sense though now why they they had the fancy bathroom fan. It doesn't make sense as to why the bathroom fan, uh, kind of didn't degrade with everything else. Sounds like a record player that's needle skipping. Kind of does, doesn't it? Okay, well, we need to be a little meticulous about this, I guess, because we need to find all the Jesuses. So the first door on the right over here goes outside, which I don't think we have Jesus outside. I'm pretty sure there was a Jesus in here. Wasn't there? Okay, there's one Jesus. All right, so we have one Jesus. All right, here we go, gamers. They only have working reflections in one, like, thing, by the way, because they definitely don't have it here. Inverted cross! There it is! Is that a padded toilet seat? I mean, it's Japan, so yeah, they, they, they take their toilets seriously. Is that a trash bag shoved in a katatsu blanket? I wouldn't be surprised, but you know what? Oh, it's the corpses! Oh, nice! I didn't even notice last time. Jesus nipples. Um... Which is funny, because there's actually no Jesus nipples in that at all, so I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay, and then I th think there was a cross in here? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, all right, y'all gonna have to door the explorer this shit with me, so if you see a cross, you need to be like... It's over there! We gotta get your button! Oh my god! 
It's kind of crazy. My voice is still like partially shot from the Sonic Subathon, and I'm kind of convinced that it's never coming back. That's good. Dude, was there a cr was there a cross in the closet? That's just stupid, and that's just setting us up for a fucking jump scare. Padded toilet seats are seriously bad. They are uh they are indeed gross. Damn, dude. Those crows and coys got mad. They got mad drunk. <laughs> they got... Bro, bro, they got crazy drunk. Erica's bringing Kale in. She said, I was like, you might get spooked though. There he is. It's the boy. Look at that handsome man. Okay. <clears throat> Dude, lay that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. He's coming back. Damn, Mary, what you doing, girl? You look like shit. That's too many. That's too many. That is that is way way too many. Bro, I know you hitting that beat. Shut up. Oh my god. All right, that was what? That was like triple. Uh, was that triple cross? Where do you think we were blessing in the? Do you think were we we weren't blessing in the kitchen, were we? Did the bird just dab? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit you with it. How you feel about it? You feeling pretty good? Or do you feel, do you feel like you were just styled upon in like, oh shit. Or do you feel like you were just styled upon in the most like, beautiful way? Lay that thing down. Flip it in reverse, dude. Bro, I thought we were talking about dab, not the dap. Not really sure what St. Francis got to do with anything, but all right. <laughs> Wait, is that is that that is St. Franchito, right? Why is he holding a baby? I thought he was like the patron saint of like animals or some shit. I didn't know he was the patron saint of fucking hand baby. <laughs> fucking fucking hand baby. Ew, it's got hair on it. Gross. That's nasty, dude. Oh my god. That crow. Drive me fucking nuts. <laughs> like, he, that, like, that one's fine? Dude, that other one was blasting. Holy shit. Like, he was crazy. That man was out of control. Okay, so... This was Koi Land. I'm assuming the last one is probably upstairs. How many have we done so far? Five? I think we did five. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, this is probably up here about dolls. Jinx girl with two dollars. I don't know if that was an attempt to spook me, but good, good timing though. Walking up the stairs, pretty good timing. Is that a piece of the home? Okay, dude. Excuse me, sir. Your home is clipping into your other home. You might want to do something about that. I hope they replace all the dolls with Mary statues. That'd be pretty cool. Nope, they just all have bags on their head and they're all looking at me. Great. Thank you so much for that. Everybody loves, everybody loves that. Good. Uh, good. I'll go this way then. Good. Nothing like a bunch of soaked blood red baby dolls. Get out of there. I see you in that hole. God, it's always something, dude. <laughs> Grab me from the left. Damn. Looking like a little ooga booga hit me. All right, so we still got the Marys over there, classic. Uh, there was like a gigantic doll that was in like the fridge. Um, the upstairs fridge. Whoa, dude. 
things have... What is with Japanese Japanese horror and hair, dude? They just always on some shit. Um, I really am proud of them for this, though. Like, this is this is what I wanted. This is where I want Chilla to be. Like, this is where I want them to be right here. Right here. Like, this is it. And I hate that, like... Oh, there was a Jesus over here. Shit. I just walked right past it. Walked right past it, dude. Okay. You saying hair is, like, sharp reminds me of that guy that makes knives out of everything. And I'm a... I wonder if he ever made a hair knife. Damn, that bitch covered in dust now. Holy... <gasps> it's Papa. Papa Santiago. Dude, why are these statues up my ass? Jesus, what's up with this shit, dude? What you be doing? Oh, uh, do you think they were? Do you think they were just rolling up to watch? You thought, you thought it crashed? I'm actually a little worried that we missed something there. It felt like we uh, felt like we did, but I don't know. Jesus kind of looked like an alien? He, he might be. He probably was, actually. Now, well, that depends. If Jesus was doing, like... Okay, I'm gonna go this way, because I wanna go see if Toilet Man will let me out of his hole. Nope, he won't. He won't even let me partake upon the hole, dude. We don't, I don't even know if we're gonna get to see Toilet Man. I think we're just gonna get to see, like... Uh, I guess, like, the hair demon. Which, I would actually be really impressed by this, if they just never showed you what the Ooga Booga actually looked like. I think that'd be really cool. Like, legitimately, I think that'd be really neat. That's okay, you can quote that. <laughs> Boy, I sure wish Toilet Man would let me partake of his hole. Well, I guess this is where I live now. Hand. <laughs> I can't move, so... I guess... Something will come and just eat my butt at some point. So now we wait. Oh, wait. Did I actually, like, break it? Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. I think I might have. Because this feels like... I feel like this is, like, something was supposed to happen. Shoot, I hope I didn't. Did I get stuck? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think I did. Something something would be, like, bound to happen by now. This this is, this is doesn't feel right. Damn, what did I do? I, I didn't do... I didn't even do anything. I just... I just got stuck. Should have played more Sonic. Yeah, that would, that would fix it. Okay, so now that you can't click anything, I yeah, I can't do I can't do anything. Is there anybody who is Shiatsu who uh, I'm 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 assuming this is broken. Well, I guess let me Alt F four. Dang. You know what else is cool about this? I don't think this has any alternate endings, which is really nice, because I'm kind of sick of that shit. And I wish things would just have, like, a fucking good... a good run, good ending, and just be like, alright, cool, done. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do think you actually get to start on certain videos, it looks like. Uh, so hopefully we can continue... I think it, yeah, so I guess it's video, f oh my god, we literally broke it right at the end. Holy shit. That's impressive. That is, like, legitimately impressive, and I don't know what... What do you think we did to cause that? All we did was click the ladder. Do you think it's because we walked over to the toilet place? Do you think that was it? That is really nice that this is technically the final tape, which means that we can just... <laughs> my favorite Dasani expansion. 
You think maybe I just like click the ladder too fast or something? Uh. Well. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. That's like wrong. That it won't let me like. What do you mean? There's a hole there. It's not broken. Floor thing. Oh, do you think like you're supposed to like do something? Yeah, but what I'm saying is like if you touch this ladder, you're stuck. No, you. Oh my God, you're right. You can crawl into the hole. Holy shit. Wow, that is. Am I am I nuts? For thinking that's like really unclear. Oh my God, that's Jesus. Run. That's pretty cool. It would have been even more unclear if I had been playing on a lower fucking resolution. Okay, you gotta give me like five minutes. Oh shit. Maybe the Tanuki will save us. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Exactly how this is gonna fucking end, and I love it. He's gonna try to back up, I love it. He gets out of the car. Oh, that's cool, because it leaves the camera on the dash. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Damn, that's good. They really, they did a great job. Yeah, this is really good. Who just followed him? That was the person that was, uh... That was the person that was chasing us in the, uh... This one has... Like... <laughs> it probably has wasted time backing up. Well, that's another one. Another, another blood for the, uh, another blood for the pile. Well, we were out of the tunnel by that point. Shitty jump scare right at the end. This is pretty- yeah, this is cool that it's like all from like the camera's perspective. That is- that is interesting. Oh shit. Is it not over? Fetch that under- it's not, holy crap. Yeah, so now we're the- right. So it, it kind of all like, looped back in on- it. oh man, this is good.
I can't go that way. Hang on a second. Before we finish this, because I want to see what the ending is, let me go, uh, something going on with the dog. Hang on a second.
All right, sorry. You do emergency dog takeout. <sighs> I want to do that right before the the end though, like so we can see uh, see how this ends together. Oh shit! Oh no, I hope the audio didn't just like die. Oh no, I didn't. We're good. I was like, oh no, the audio died because I waited too long. Which that was a that was a really weird issue earlier. All right, so we need to take his. Uh, we need to take the body out to the gross man outside and be like, "Here you go, gross man. Enjoy. Here you go, gross toilet man. I have to shove an entire body into the toilet. That's a lot. That's a lot, dude. You're gonna that that bitch gonna get clogged. But then again, I guess it wasn't really a toilet the entire time. It was like a portal to another dimension. So, and by another dimension, I mean literally the basement. Also, why are we being haunted by, like, the glitch demon if, like, the, like, the hair glitch demon? Why are we being haunted by that if the, if, like, we're working with evil? You know what I'm saying? Like, why we, why we getting ooga booga by that man if we, dude, that orifice is so much bigger than I thought it was. We're the gross man, but like there was also something else that was the gross man. Okay. So, um, I was thinking like maybe Hall of Fame on this one. I'm gonna say no, uh, but I will definitely say this is probably one of the better chillas. Like just straight up. I'd say this is definitely up there with like the caretaker, which makes me really happy that they did well with this one. Um, it's not full of, like, oogie boogie, like, oh my god, I'm shitting my pants, YouTuber bait. Uh, most of the oogie boogas are pretty damn solid. Uh, the one in the curtain was unbelievable. Uh, the ending was kind of whatever. I mean, it was fine. Like, it was kind of what I expected. I figured, it, I actually was hoping that, like, they were going to... I was hoping that they were going to kill the person, and then, like, that was the end. I think having it come back to like, I think having it come back to like uh, playing as the dude and then taking the body and then throwing it in the in the in the demon toilet with the Jesus statues, I feel like that's like pointless. Like that didn't really do much. Um, like I would have preferred if it was because like you could just kind of like fill in the blanks, right? That that dude was like crazy, crazy demon, sold out, whatever the fuck. Like you know, because then the the dude that the dude that was like that we were playing as like the the one who was watching the vhs's and stuff was the guy who was coming here to get like the shitty footage for their you know whatever so uh yeah i don't know i feel like ending there was like uh ending there was probably like the better way to go because you could have been like oh yeah cool that, that was neat and then that was the end of it um so it was a little weird that they had you go back to what's his face i mean they're bringing it like full circle which is fine it's just kind of odd it wasn't long any the last little chunk isn't long anyway, so like it's not like it's bad or anything like that, but it, it was close. Close to Hall of Fame with a few things. Uh, the crawl in the space to the right thing was so stupid. <laughs> I felt like an actual dum-dum, because I'm like, oh my god. And then I looked at it and I'm like, I don't... I don't know if I am a dum-dum for that one. That was like really hard to fucking see. I thought we just got stuck. So, you know. Yeah, I gotta say, that was... I, I think that that's one of their better ones. Um... Like, oh, we're apparently not done. Oh, right, because they're going to check out the footage. For... That's some creepy footage. See, it's not that good. You know who shot it? No clue. Someone sent it to us. Maybe it's that guy who's been missing work. Maybe it is him. Remember telling him to get some results. Uh, why send it to the office? Bring it straight to me, damn fucker. Damn fucker? Jeez. But the last part. He didn't show up to the office after he went to take the footage of the house. Oh, no, no. What are you talking about? It's probably edited. It's fake. It's, it's a fake. I don't have time for this stuff. Don't mess with that kind of stuff. You're right. My bad. I wish he'd show up to work soon. Yeah, same, dude. Excuse me. I need to use the restroom. Oh, please come back soon. Uh, please come back soon so that we can start planning the next project. Bro, he's not coming back. 
He's gonna get Edie in the Edie in the butt in the bathroom. Cause you guys watch the cursed ass footage. This is interesting. I, uh oh. I wasn't. Pre oh my god. I wasn't really prepared for uh, being able to see the night sky in the office. So it's cool that they got skylights built into this. That's neat. Good for them. Neat, uh, neat post credit thing too. Actually, this, this is pretty cool. Oh my god. Dude, y'all. Y'all have gotten. Is that Jesus? Oh my god, it was him. Then why? Then why was hair? That's the real question. Well, I do have to say, definitely one of Chilla's better ones. Uh, I would say it's like kind of up there with the caretaker and uh, all that stuff. Pretty dang good. I'm proud of them, dude. They honestly, it's got probably one of their best spookies ever. Uh, that that shit with the curtain, so good. Like that was fantastic. Apparently we got all the achievements, so it looks like there is no alternate end, which I also really, really, really like. I like the fact that there's no alternate end. Um, it's not super long. We spent about two hours on it. Uh, so really, uh, really good. Really good. They, they, they did a good job. Again, uh, not quite like Hall of Fame level or anything like that, but and it, it was feeling like it. If they, if they had kept the momentum going in the oopy poopy there's a there's an ooga booga behind the curtain thing like 100 percent. i would have been all about uh all about that so i don't know what this is is that okay this is all right um but yeah that was a uh... actually i have no idea who this is uh let's see here oh yeah it was good though Really, uh, really proud of them. And don't forget, if you guys took any clips of this, make sure you put them in the old clip dump, if there were any taken from that. That was honestly just a solid game through and through, so. Pretty good stuff, man. I dig it. And if you missed it, uh, would definitely watch it in the VOD. I think, like, the, the, the thing itself, like, the, um... Sorry, my brain, my brain's just, brain's just skipping a beat. Uh, yeah. No, I would, in, in context, I think that was, like, really solid, so... Pretty dang good, dude. Pretty dang good. Alright. Well, I guess let's move on to whatever the hell we're doing next. Which I don't know yet. It's a little bit... I kind of expected that to be, like, close to, like... Well, no, I guess, I guess it was. It did have some length. It had some length to it. Had a little bit of... Had a little bit of length. Definitely up there with one of my, uh, one of my faves from them. I think they did a good job on that. Definitely good. Definitely didn't hit the because, like I said, the kidnap and the ca and karaoke and like some of those are just not. They're just not very good. So does it count as being the e being the evil since we played as the bad guy for all the bad stuff? But like the whole like we were evil the entire time. I mean, like I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's probably that's probably fine. Uh, there is a uh, we made this last year. Um, there's a bingo wins. Oh, okay, cool. Jigikuro just bumped it. Nice. Now, let me see here. Looks like, uh, I think Andy might have the first bingo win of the year. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Which means they get VIP for the night if they did. And also, I gotta get that as a... Alright, let's see what we got. So we've got, uh... Hang on a second. Can see own legs. Okay, we got that. Uh... <laughs> We technically did have obnoxious eating sounds because there was the thing crunching, munching in like the cabinet, which was pretty obnoxious. Uh, get the free space, can't sprint, retro aesthetic. That's the only one I'm confused on. What would we define? What are we defining as the retro aesthetic? Do we know what that is? Do you mean like, but like because like we were using like VHSs and shit? It started because it started me on low graphics. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know if that really defines like retro aesthetic. I mean, I guess we were running around like the collecting like VHS tapes, and, like throwing them in, like VCRs, and the game itself's not super. 
I guess the retro aesthetic one is kind of like weird. Like, what what are we gonna? What do we define as retro aesthetic? I would normally say like something like uh, uh, rewind or die um, would normally count as like retro aesthetic because like that's like doing like the whole like kind of eighties nineties like you know VHS store all this other stuff. It's got like a lot of like imagery from back then. Um, you know stuff like that. I definitely would define as it, but that one's a little confusing. But like, if we're gonna like, if we're saying like, you know, the idea of like using like VHS tapes and all this other crap, if we want to count that, I mean, I I think we can. I might I might get rid of retro aesthetic because I'm not really sure that that one is like a little weird. Uh, shout out to PT reference looping hallway. <laughs> this card actually, uh, this one's pretty. This one's actually not bad. It's just funny that like some of this stuff just didn't. There also was gross, dirty mattress. Uh. No fast food, no dead body advantage, but those weren't checked anyway, so I'm going to I'm just going to I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it for sure. I, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Let's VIP Andy. Congratulations. And let me see. Let me see if uh, let me see if I've got somebody to hit here before I just randomly throw it out. Do we have anybody that's not sub that I can sub specifically since I have to get out a sub when somebody hits the bangy? I don't see anybody in the thing actually right now. Norm yeah, normally I would define, like, retro aesthetic as, like, uh, you know, whatever. Like, like yeah, like, something that, like, actually looks like, uh... I don't think, uh... I don't see... I don't particularly want to go to bed, but I think I have to. But well, you could do it. You could, you could, you could, you could become, you could become the sleep. Congratulations, Andy! You did it. You made it. <laughs> you, you made it. No, it's cool. I'll uh, let me just let me just let me just throw let me throw one out here. Let me just throw it out. You probably go to sleep, have work tomorrow, then do it up, get you some sleep. It's so weird to like actually give that a sub in your own chat because you have to like go, you have to go to your actual Twitch channel. You can't like, I don't think you can do it from like the regular thing. <laughs> I don't think you could do it from like the regular thing. Yes, thank you, thank you so much, Twitch, for reminding me the Twitch for fucking subbed to like seven ninety nine or some shit. You're crazy. You're crazy as hell, poop monster. Oh my god, can I please just do? Holy shit! Stop fucking telling me to do. Thank you. Okay, cool. There we go. I got it. I got it. There you go. Congratulations to whoever that lands on. I don't know who it's gonna land on. Hopefully it's somebody in chat who actually doesn't have a sub. That would be that would be the preferred the preferred thing. But congratulations, Andy. You've done it. You've done it. VIP for the night. I'm not gonna get a bingo tonight. Wait, wasn't it supposed to be if I get Ooga Booga I have to give that a sub? And you get VIP? Maybe just get VIP for bingo. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Somebody's got it now. I'll, I'll clarify my own brain later. Clarify. Um uh, let's see here. Also, welcome to welcome to everybody. I'm not gonna get a bingo tonight, but I want to mark night shift because it's on my card. You can do it, but we have a night shift just yet. But you gotta hang in there for what, like, 25 more minutes. Rogue, thank you for the 54 months. Welcome back aboard the bus. Hope you enjoy the ride, because the ride never ends. Uh, all right, let's do. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that one that one was actually pretty pretty dang good, man. I'm proud of I'm proud of Chiller for that one. That was good. They did. They did a good job. Um, now, what do I want to do next is the question. I'm still proud of uh, Olink Alex or whatever their name was for that fairy game. That was good. They did a good job on that one. I'm trying to debate if I want to go into uh, go into like Poo Pooville. Or if I want to No, I'll probably say Poo Pooville for later. This seems interesting. Huh. Oh my god, they've made a lot of shit. Wait, didn't we already do one of these one of their games? I know you guys can't answer that. Should go on the dono list? Oh I see it. I see it. I see an image. I know you, you hungry. Absolutely heinous keyboard spotted in bubblegum crisis. But what the fuck is bubblegum? What is that? That was also from 2021, which means this is like ancient on its own. What does that mean? That is a scary, that's a scary keyboard. I think my favorite thing is the... 
squared tongue. I like go and stop. That's pretty good. I like weird diagonal arrows. M-E. I like the division sign over there. That's pretty good. There's cheat engine over there to the right. That's pretty good, man. This is this is good stuff. I mean, you never know. Maybe you don't need the maybe you don't need the left and the right. Maybe you don't need those at all. I'm never gonna get bingo because my brain wanders away and I miss stuff. <laughs> my brain walks away. It says farewell. It says goodbye. Okay. So we are gonna do what's the next one we're gonna do? Oh my god, does this game have a sewer? Oh. Oh my god. I can't tell if this is gonna be poop sack or if this is gonna be good. So this game came out in uh December of 2023, January of 2024 ish. Or it was updated then. Um This game is called uh Call Out. It's a short found footage style atmospheric horror game where your first day on the job maintaining a sewer system turns into a nightmare. Alright. That actually sounds pretty cool, man. That's a that's an interesting concept. We're gonna we're gonna give this one we're gonna give this a shot. Oh, that's cool. It also, dude, this game also has a media kit available to it that you can use to make thumbnails and stuff, which I said before was really, really awesome. I'm, I'm proud of people who do that because like that's a good way to make sure that people who are trying to make thumbnails of your game at least have like some kind of resource to do so. So it's not like whatever. Um, speaking of which. I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, that sack, that sack is filling up something fierce. How's everybody doing? You guys having a good uh, you having a good Monday? You enjoying you enjoying your brain time? Monday brain time? The stream was like 15 minutes later than it was supposed to be in general, just because uh, I had like this weird internet blip that wasn't like a outage or anything. I just couldn't connect on my desktop. It was really weird. Even after like a I don't know what I called it. I played D and D again for the first time in years, and it went okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad it went okay. Nope, but I'm here to drown the brains. Oh, dude, drown that brain sauce. Go after it. Oh my god! Wow. Why is it sometimes, oh lord, he coming? And he doesn't do anything, and then other times he just destroys it. Let's try again. I'm still disappointed. But you know what? He did delete it. Cause like if I if I make his like if I make him too heavy, he just blasts straight through the cup. I'm gonna have to figure it out, man. I gotta I gotta figure out I gotta figure figure out the secret sauce. Either way. <laughs> thank you, Sturg, for um uh, Thank you for being fantastic. You are you are the bomb. Thank you for uh thank you for knocking the cup over. <laughs> the the sack is filling up, you say. Yes it was. And apparently Apparently, oh lord, he coming. Just sometimes doesn't. But if I make him too heavy, he just blasts straight through the cups. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. You had to stop playing because the group you kept canceling. You got tired of it. <laughs> I just made room in the fridge with this gigantic round Tupperware thing my roommate bought, even though I told him to. Stop buying plastic containers and two, to stop buying round shit. <laughs> stop! Dude, stop buying round shit. You should make a game where you're alone at night and the killer's loose, but it all ties back to Cthulhu. You know, something real original. Are you saying... Are you saying you want the Ooga Booga to be Cthulhu? -woo? You know, I really appreciate the rock stars simulating your horse's hair nuts in real time, but we still can't figure out a PNG colliding with a fake cup. Yeah. You know. It is, it is what it is. Thank you, Saris, for decorating the cup with some bits. All right, Sass, sounds good. Enjoy the, enjoy the slip. Enjoy the slip. All right, you guys ready? By a show of, by a show of puppets. How ready are we for a literal game about a sewer level? Which, you know, of course, is my favorite. Which is worrying for this game, because that means it has to really impress me, because it's a fucking sewer. Round containers do suck. They're terrible. Like, they are legitimately awful. Alright, here we go! The worst part of hell is not the fire. It's the hopelessness. Alright, dude. Lofty. Lofty words right at the beginning. That's really good. Cup. 
Come in. <laughs> er, which way? You want to go left up towards 1A. Roger that. Roger that, Scranklemeister. I don't remember. Do we do we reset bingo? I don't think we do. After somebody wins, like, do we do that traditionally? I don't remember if we do or not. I don't think we do. Roger that. Looks like I drew the lucky straw on Banda, ma'am. Would be me down there. Yeah. Years of smoking. I'm sorry. You don't get to. You didn't go down to the stink sewer because you. Wait, you don't go down the stink sewer anymore because you smoked too much? Was that really your reason? That's strange. Let me eat, let me eat this son bitch open. Why is it making like clackety smackety noises? First box back online. Raj. Head Bro, my name's not Raj, it's Fledge. How come I say Roger that, but he just says Raj? This is scary. That's a scary little, uh... This is a scary little noise that thing makes, isn't it? I don't like that very much at all. That's a scary little noise you're making there, scary man. I don't hate the idea of this so far. I actually think it's kind of a cool idea. Alright, well, I guess we have to go around? <laughs> I like the toxic sludge barrels, and I appreciate... I appreciate the toxic sludge barrels, and I like the idea that this guy can't come down here because he smoked too much. I'm like, oh yeah, don't. <laughs> Smoking and standing next to radioactive waste is the exact same thing. <laughs> I mean, both are pretty bad, but you know. I feel like, I feel like the uh, I feel like the toxic sludge is gonna Chernobyl your ass way quicker than the uh, the cigarettes will. So I can't get through that, so we're going to go around. Looks like we need to go down for the next box, or at least that's what it was looking like over there with the little... Who is that? That's a scary man in a hard hat. No sprint, by the way. So there's a hard man down here. Dude, it's Ninja... <laughs> it's the Ninja Turtles! They're eating pizza. There, there they are. Do you think that that pizza came from Il Fiore de la Muerte or whatever the fuck its name was? Probably was, wasn't it? Tied all, tied all back together. Maybe that was the call out we were looking for the entire time. Do you think just like smelling the radioactive barrels maybe like uh... Messing up the brain juice over here? Also, why are there radioactive barrels in the sewer? Just feels like a bad idea. And I am definitely 100% lost. So that's good. <laughs> 100% have already been turned around. Which is pretty impressive. Maybe I can like, uh, maybe I can use the pizza box to pry those boards off. They're made of steel. Maybe the guy eating the pizza was sitting over there and he's like, man, this hard hat sure is uncomfortable. But this place really is a piece of shit. <laughs> he was also walking really slow, which, I mean, I would be too if I was sitting down here huffing radioactive barrels for like 16 months straight. Or at least even for like 5 minutes. I feel like either one's, either one's probably pretty bad. Kale, I hear you out there grunting. Come in here. What? 
Like, what kind of <gasps> Oh my god, it's one of those oblivion zombies. Get help. <laughs> What's going on there, Rod? What are you looking at? Like, well, I'm looking at a... I got a part of a dead body down here. It's one entire torse. What? You're breaking up. Dude, I said it's a torse. Dead body, get police. Dead, dead body, get police. I also love the, like, amnesia lantern that's down here. Which does not match our current existing flashlight, which is pretty funny. Keep heading down, there's an exit. You fucking idiot. Are you serious? You could be like, oh, just keep going down, dude. It's cool. Like, straight up, this man was like, just keep going. Like, hey, man. Got a dead body down here on the on the Bango Wango one niner, and he's like, "Yeah, just keep going. It's cool. Everything will be totally fine." Someone's down here. There's someone down here closing doors on me. Hello. <laughs> Part excarta on me. Do you think it was hard hat Henry? I sure hope it wasn't. Actually, you know what? Maybe maybe it was Hard Hat Henry. And what happened was he got that pizza and it was wrong and he had had enough. He had had enough of this shit. He was like, you know what? I'm sick of this place. I mean, I'm going to 100% steal somebody's torso. And then guess what he did? He stole a torso. And now look at it. Now look at just the absolute state of it. You got toxic barrels. You got torsos all over the place. You got... Handle with care backwards on that box for some reason. You got aggressive Tweety Bird over there. I really am curious how this is going to wrap. Like, it's not terrible so far. This feels like somebody's, like, you know, kind of like first few attempts at a game or something, doing like a horror thing, which is fine. It's actually, it's actually not bad. I am curious kind of how it ends, though. The irony of putting handle with care too, just backwards, is really funny. <laughs> like this, well, I brought can't read that back. <gasps> oh no! Okay, if you ever see the great foot, it's not like Bigfoot. It's not fun. That's not fun. So don't, just don't do it. Ah oh, shit! Have you ever see? Have you ever see a foot great? Your hard hat's not gonna protect you from that. This is kind of like if Cage Face was like slightly creepier. Not like, not like in insanely creepier or anything like that, but a little bit creepier. Then again, Cage Face also really wasn't creepy at all, ever. Kale, would you come over here, you little wing ding? Kale's in grunt mode right now, where he just kind of walks around going, eh, eh, eh. We do have VLC cones. <gasps> the water is down here. And by the water, I mean the sewer. Sewer. Hey, VLC, nice. I appreciate how reserved it's been so far. It's been, like, relatively, like... It has been just full of dumbass jump scares and stuff. So they've, ha they've like, they have... <laughs> they have shown restraint. Oh my god! Who's that? That's face. Oh, hey, another flashlight. Going in. I'm not like, dude, you throw a head at me, you know what I'm doing? Going down. Deeper. Into the sludge. Into the stink, as it were. You know, though, man, I'm not. I'm not gonna hate on it. I, I'm not, like, okay, pretty stupid at the end, <sighs> but it was okay. It's fine.
was fine. That's call out, everybody. And, uh... <laughs> I mostly just kind of feel like some time passed and kind of nothing happened. Uh, some of the reviews, let's check out the reviews on this bad boy. Let's see what we got going on. We've got nice job. We've got a very spooky horror game. Un, bu un buen, buen juego, me gusta mucho. Okay. Uh, we <laughs> Damn. I like how they, um, I like how they got, they just took the whole, the game, the face and that was that's god dude this is like this is like hard indie horror game youtuber like 101 it's like find the one ooga booga and cut it out and just glue it to your thumbnail which is completely co just completely defeats the, the fucking point and like because it's like oh here here's the one fucking ooga booga moment let me just glue it let me just glue it to the goddamn this game was very scary and had me creeped out the entire time well, <laughs> well, maybe they, I guess they changed their mind. The ambience of this game was quite good. I got a little lost, but that's probably on me. LOL. Corto, pero, intenso, buena, amb ambientacion. Mm. Yeah. I also made a no commentary version. Thank you, Angel. I was, I was looking for. <laughs> they're like, they're like, comment section, don't worry. I was also. I also made a, I also made a no com. I'm like, thank you, dude. Watch the first 20 seconds. I'm not doing it. Uh, <laughs> great horror game, genuinely frightening and wonderful atmosphere. Um, <laughs> dude, I, uh, oh, I didn't see the hand. Oh shit, I missed hand. Well, damn. Atmosphere on another level says Booba. Damn, Booba straight said. Atmosphere on another level. Oh my god. Man, that thumbnail. Oh. Man. I do love I do love going through the itch comments. I feel like I feel like this is this is truly truly a sobering experience. Well the booba says it's true. I guess it must be true. Why are all the thumbnails exactly the same? Mm. How much time we got? <laughs> how much how much time we got to cover that topic? This man, look at how look at how afraid this man is. Fun game, check it out. This guy just said I have no friends. That's unfortunate. I'm I'm worried about how scared this guy is. Is he okay? God, bro, now not the time to be breaking up, bro. No, I'm not breaking up. Stop, bro, dead. Get the police. Yep. <gasps> that man playing in broad daylight. Okay, so as it turns out, uh, yeah, it's um, the game was all right. It was it was fine. It was like not the worst thing ever, but it was also not good. Okay, well that was call out. Man. That man appeared so quick, I didn't even have time to be scared. Oh, he's just like, he's just kind of there, and then he leave. Okay, uh, this next one is a bit more on the, uh, I think this is a bit more on, like, the kind of environmental, spooky, like, kind of weird feeling. Uh, it's called, it's called Koi. We're rolling into night shifts. This is going to be a, uh, this would be a late night banger for them to be pretty good. Oh, pretty good. He, he appears so quick, I, I can't. Hmm. YouTube's a whole website of judge, judge a book by its cover, and that style sells, unfortunately. Somebody needs to call out that game. To, which one? The what? The the guy? 
yeah, I mean, like, scrunching around, like, the sewer, like, whatever. Uh, but anyway, this game was made in a week for the Brackies Game Jam 20, 2024, uh, but couldn't make, it, couldn't make the deadline. Uh, the theme was Calm Before the Storm, your investigator who's, uh, whose case was missing people in a village. Uh, it lists itself as horror, but, like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be like crazy, crazy spooky, but it does. It does seem neat. So we'll see. We'll see what this one's all about. Like I said, it's called Koi. Um, let's 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 do let's do that one next. So I, I've got I've got more faith. I got more faith in this than I do in Call Out. <laughs> God, Call Out <laughs> showed up just in time for night shift. Well, hey, at least that game ended right for night shift. So we had to enough like stop stop the game for the shift, which is good. Again, I should probably just download Night Shift and just, you know, load it, but I like to, I gotta give him, gotta give him some views, right? Gotta give him some views. Cause it's gotta keep going. Like half, we're at least like five views on this. Maybe five. I don't know. All right, 12 o'clock. Yeah, where is it? I'm fucking ready. I got my hand on the, on the dingle and I'm gonna do it. Bam, there it is. Hit it. Good. Thank Good you, Spacebar. Gentlemen, it is now the night shift. Feeling pretty fresh working night. If you work in the morning, then go to sleep, you stupid idiot. Pretty inconsiderate if you ask me. Some of us boys are trying to get this night premium. Call out with benefit by having somebody other than Dave and his team fortress to engineer budget cosplay. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, whatever, I opened up Discord to go look at something, and I love how this thing that Jigakuro posted, the account's name is Boobs Enjoyer. But I mean, this is, this is a nightmare. I mean, like, I don't know what the hell's happening here, this is scary. This feels like some Samsung shit. Grandpa can hear now, he finally got hearing aids, finally, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> God. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get hearing aids for my eyeballs after seeing, after seeing that one. For I have been blinded. I have been blinded. I do appreciate that the guy, the guy that made this, his name is PS2 Ben, which is a, which is a weird name, but you know what? You know what, PS2 Ben? So apparently they tried to make this in like a week. Uh, I guess, but I think they ran out of time, so I guess it was made in like a little bit over a week. Which is, which again, any, anytime we do any, anything game jam, I'm always like, I'm always willing to cut it a little bit of slack because they normally spend, you know, a very short amount of time on it. And more often than not, make something at least decent or competent. So it is a. I wish that thing had ears to complete it. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. I sure, I sure wish it had ears. Maybe, I wish it didn't exist. So I feel like maybe, <laughs> so maybe I don't wish it had ears. If it had ears and went away, then I'd probably like it a little bit more. Yeah, nobody, nobody say anything about how uh, how glasses are basically hearing aids for your eyes. It's cool. Don't let's not bring that up. <laughs> let's not bring that up. How <laughs> actually? How come we just call them glasses and we don't call them eyeing aids or seeing aids? Because we call them hearing aids. So why don't we call them? Why don't we call glasses seeing aid? Oh, okay, that's the game's thing. This is not running at four thousand frames per second. I had two guesses on the spelling of Koi, and both were wrong. <laughs> How does it feel, Sturd? All right, press Q to open and close your notebooks. We got investigate, or investigation of missing people. Day one, investigate townsfolk, locate mayor's house, find a place to stay. Day two, ask mayor about missing people. All right. We got, oh, that's a good sound. Chica Karaj just gave you a free link. What are you doing? It looks like uh, Q and E does make you move faster. Uh, there is no sprint. So the movement, the movement's a little messed up because it's the Q and E thing, but that's okay. I can jig a girl for the $2 and put us up to $24 and then one thing and then the 12 and then the other thing and then the 15 and the other thing. And the dollars and the monies and the time. Oh cool, you can keep like pulling your thing up, that's nice. So I can, I can remind myself of how to ask the mayor for money. <laughs> Villaggy. All right, let's go. Let's go to the Villaggy and go see if we can find the Mayor. It's got a. It's got a. It's got a mouthfeel to it so far that I'm digging. Kirch, Village Square, Mayor's House. We're gonna go this way since this is where Mayor's House is. Uh, 
Hello, good sir. Have you seen my eyeing aids anywhere? Now, I wonder which one Mayor is. Hello, Kale. Can, would you come here? Why do you keep just walking around chirping? Would you like to play the spooky game? Infirmary. Fish man. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool looking town, actually. I like that kirch. That's a nice looking kirch. I don't even remember what E. E. Basin was supposed to imply. Like, I remember specifically that it was that one shitty horror hospital game. And it was like in Spanish or something, but I don't remember if like E. E. Basin was literally just interact or what. I have no idea. Was Andy even here to sniff his VIP or did he did he die? <laughs> I think Andy might have submitted their bingo card and then died. Oh, hello, Mayor. Where are you? This is a Minecraft looking ass houses, dude. Also, we're like really short. Or the camera is in our wee wee, which may also be the truth. Mayor, Mayor house. At that point, if you're going to have a sign like that, you may as well just put it above the just put it above the door. <laughs> just be like, that's this is Mayor house. Dude, Mayor, you look a little. You look a little squinchy, but I like you. I gotta say, uh, I don't think, um, I don't know what the purpose of that sound is. Welcome to our village, officer. How can I help you? Do you know about the missing people? Well, who, who's it? Who's in the Who's at the picture with you? She is my lovely wife. Thank for. Do you know about missing people? Yes, I heard that the doctor is missing. Are you here for him? He's our village's only doctor and has been missing for a week. Do you know about missing people, doctor? You mentioned where can I find? You can start looking up for him at his house. He uses his house as infirmary. Our village's signs will guide you there. He uses oh okay, so the infirmary is, is, is him house. Have a nice day. And be careful, this place could be dangerous at night. That's how you gotta bless really quick. <laughs> That's how you interact with the mayor. You gotta you gotta get in there, get a little You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it inside your skin holes. <laughs> Ooh. That's, that's Mayor's house. This is Village Square. I don't think Infarmory was over. Yeah, it's the motel. Oh, shit. They got cars and stuff here. That guy did look like the general. So he didn't seem like the mayor. He definitely seemed like the general. And he was not going to save on your insurance. Motel, Village Square, Mayor's house. All right. I know I saw Infarmory over here. Dude, if this ends up being uh, if this ends up being Slap City, Michigan, which that house is floating, uh, if this is being Slap City, Slap City, Michigan, then this is gonna be uh, one of our first, one of our first late night bangers. Actually, we haven't had any, uh, we haven't had any uh, Hall of Famers yet, though. Oh well, except for Hallway Flashlight, but we all knew that was gonna be a killer one anyway. That was expectedly, expectedly Hall of Fame, because we knew that should be good. Or I did anyway. Dude, he's got like a little baby door. That's oh my god. Is this the infarmery? Okay, here we go. This village got a designated boring dude? Maybe. I like how they put doctor's house and also infarmery. Press F to open flashlight. Could you imagine that just opens up the back and the batteries fall and he's like <laughs> and then he just quits. He quits ever wanting to be a horror man ever again. Wait, was that leave? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I was supposed to go inspect, inspect his, him house. I like that all the tables and stuff look like crushed ass bitmaps, that's nice. 
Dude, look at how thin Jimin these stairs are. Oh my god. I do appreciate the chromatic the chromatic tub. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, that plant looking suspicious. Mm -mm -mm. Eric, my old friend. I can't take it anymore. Something's wrong about this place. You must get out of here as fast as you can. Just leave your fishing shot behind and get out. Damn. What's been going on in fish land is the question. Leave your fish and flee. Do you think, do you think Eric ever tried to fish in his bathroom? Like a fucking idiot. Okay, so we know now, ask fish about the doctor. All right, let's go talk to fish. That tub had to be put in before the walls. No way they got that up the stairs. You know, Rogue, maybe you just don't know the secrets. Maybe you don't know the secrets of how to get things up the stairs. The, maybe you don't know about quantum bathtub. Okay, so we need to find, we need to find fish house. Dude, what is with some of these baby doors? Oh my god. I know they made it in like seven days, but holy shit. What's really weird too, is this means that like, I guess they made like the door independent of like each house, because I'm surprised they didn't copy paste, because like this one's a little bit more reasonable. That one over there is like straight up little baby, little baby door. Which means they didn't they didn't like copy the doors over from like each other like dwellings looks like they just made like brand new ones or some shit you may be builder man but have you ever have you ever glued a fridge to the back of a car 18 of them all right so we'll go back to the village square because i think i saw i think i saw fish house i think fish house was over here Yeah, I think Fishman was like, yeah, okay, he's back here. Would have been cute if they could have denoted the fish, the fish house by like, I don't know, like put like a, put like a stupid fish on the door, like put like a Billy Bass up there, because then I'd know, then I would, then I'd know where I was going. Put a slap a Billy Bass on that door, and we are good to go, my man. Good to go. Which he, they might have. Like we're we're gonna see the fish house here in a second. We're gonna see if uh see if maybe they maybe they slapped a Billy Bass on that bad boy. Holy shit! See, I told you. Look at that. They did. They put they put Billy Bass up there. Damn! Look at that, man. They were two steps ahead of me. Oh, the fish the fish man's alive. Oh sh Oh my god. Can you like stop it? Stop it! I'm not doing it. Fishman, I cometh. What do you want? Do you know about the missing doctor? Thank you for your help. He's Sully, old friend of mine. But I haven't seen him for a while, too. Did you check his house? I didn't found anything useful in his house. Try checking his bookshelf. I know that sometimes he hides some things there. I didn't found anything useful. Thanking for help. Be careful. And good luck with your case. What you vision on? You got like damn, you got like tiny little hands too. That's crazy. I hope you find I hope you find a fish worth your while. And there's some scary rocks down there too. And that water is aggressive. You know what's crazy is they got Billy Bass up in this bitch, and yet. You don't even go into Fish House. You talk to Fish Man on dock. But you don't actually go into Fish House. Which is interesting that you don't do that. I like the cut of this game's jib so far, but it's not a... The translation kind of sucks. And the... Uh, 
where was I going with that? Translation kind of sucks, and uh, not like super spooky so far. But like I said, I like the I like the, I like the feel of randomly go to go to place, weird shit like happen, man disappear. Must talk to fish on pier. I can uh, I can get down with that. I already forgot where Doctor House was. Can't blah, 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 blah. Shockingly, somehow more interesting than hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Still cannot believe we got through Sonic 06 again and cleared everything again. Does that qualify me as an idiot? Absolutely insane. Doing that shit again. Was this Dr. House? He had the big door, didn't he? You can always tell, look kids, you can always tell if it's a medical professional's house because he got big door. Oh, here we go, in Fire Marine Henry. Qualifies me as a 100% Sonic 06 speedrunner. It's a pretty, it's a pretty long speedrun. I actually wonder what the, what the speedrun for like all campaigns is in Sonic 06, if there even is one. There may not be. All right, now in his red, green, his RGB bookshelf, he's, him apparently is hiding something. Maybe you gotta push it. Wait, does he have one in his? Never mind. Oh, there's two bookshelves. This village's people are blind and fool, but I can sense that I'm being watched. I will show them the truth, but first I must see it myself. I know that the lighthouse is the source of the truth. Here we go, here we go. No one lives under the lighthouse. Okay, and now it says, find a way to go to lighthouse. Got it. This feels Elder hiding some shit. I do wonder why the frame rate turns to absolute trash when you pull up your tablet. Uh... When you pull up your tablet of paper. Because I can tell it's supposed to be just be like a piece of paper, but it's very thick. <laughs> You're like, bro, watch, watch your paper so thick. All gold medals looks like two hours and 20-ish minutes for Sonic 06. Oh my god. Yeah, I can. I wonder how I get to Lighthouse. Do you think you take Boat? I think I think Boat might be the only way over there. Unless I, tell, unless I go ask the Fish Man and be like, Fish Man, please. Might I borrow your... Uh, or you could just jump in the... Uh... <laughs> you just jump in the river. <laughs> Or in the ocean, and just start swimming to lighthouse. By all right, I'm hoofing it. I'm assuming, well, I guess I'll have to talk to Fishman, because I'll be like, how I get, how I'm, how I am to get to Lighthouse, and he is like, procure my boat. What do you want? Uh, me want, is that boat yours? Dude, what a stupid question. Yes, but I haven't used it in a wheel. You can use, oh, we were talking about it earlier. You can use it if you want to. Is that, thank, <laughs> thank for help. Good luck with your case. I like how he just keeps telling me that. <laughs> like, what if he came up to him and be like, hey man, I'm a big fan of pizza. What are you a big fan of? You have favorite food? And he's just like, good luck on your case. It's like, thank you so much for the conversation. <gasps> oh, 
<laughs> thank you. For good luck on case, but like, thank you. Yeah, it's got it's got some good like it's got some good like mouthfeel to it, but yeah, it's not like super spooky or anything, which is fine. Yeah, I think it's listed as like I think they actually listed it as like an ambient horror kind of environmental horror thing, whatever. Again, the chromatic toilets are pretty sweet. And you know what this game hasn't done to me yet? They haven't uh, put toilet paper on the ground like a bunch of animals. So, gotta give them, gotta give them big credit there, too. Wait, wait, wait. Dang. I do wonder what that sound is. Like, the, the little, like, unlocky... Or door, door, door not, door not unlock sound. I feel like that's, that's gotta be in, like, a really common pack somewhere, because that gets used in a lot of stuff. Not a not like major games and stuff like that. I mean, like indie horror games it gets used a bunch. All right, we're at the top of the lighthouse. I'm assuming we need to go to the bot bottom of the lighthouse, though. Looks like this this has this has nothing to offer, which I'm cool with. The fact that we can go up here at all is pretty neat. But yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we're going anywhere there. What do you want? Thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Thank, thank you for time. Oh shit, is this like... Is this looping? Oh no, it was just long. Damn. I was like, oh that's interesting. I didn't expect him to do that. Looks like a fake door over there. This. That looks like it's just weird geometry though. Okay, so I can't... I can't get subterranean on the lighthouse, so it looks like we're gonna be looking around for like a key or something here. Okay, I can't. I can't drawer. Looping like PT, but lighthouse, so LH. Dude, I love LH. It's so good. My favorite one. Maybe it was, uh... Maybe, maybe it was Go Uppies. Okay, so maybe we just leave now, cause like there's not—I I, I can't go in the door at the bottom. There's no other doors to go into. No one lives under the lighthouse. Oh, nice. So the rain stopped. Ooh. What are you two doing? Thank you for coming in here and chewing on a box in the middle of this. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, this this switched up. This switched up. Nice. Looks like a fish beast is now gone. Go to motel and stay for night next day. Get the key from the mayor. It is weird that the frame rate just eats butt once it uh once you lift up the the um the thick note. <laughs> the idea of the thick note got me. He'd be like, "This is a big job. I'm gonna need a thick note. <laughs> I'm gonna need a thick ass note." Whoa. Those are just the signs. I thought those were people. I was like, oh my god, okay. Okay, so we want to go to the... We want to get to the model. And then that way, we can stay for the night. And then ask... Bah, bah, for the, uh... For the key. This is cool, though. Yeah, this is like... This has got... This has got the spritz. But it's... 
Again, it's not like super scary or anything yet, but yeah, it's definitely got that kind of like just weird ass, weird ass mouthfeel to it. Oh, that's Mare House. I think a Motel is over here. Oh no, no, this is this is Mare House. Well, shit, where the hell's Motel? I guess I walked right past it. Could probably also just have like, have like the name of the place like on the door. Oh yeah, because there's a car over here. Because it's like, damn, that bitch rusted. That's that long drive looking son of a bitch. Oh. Do you have a picture I can click on? My <laughs> bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motel Honor. I'm glad you chose to stay at our motel again instead of staying outside. <laughs> why, why everyone on this village scare the night this much? Mm -hmm. The night hold many mist, mist rise in its darkness. Mm -hmm. This place was always like that, even before the man you came looking for is missing. What if, what if one of the dialogue options was mm -hmm. just, just Bruno Mars is gay? Mm -hmm. Sorry, my head. My mind is a little blurry these days. Okay, well, get you get you some. Uh, I mean, I got eye aids. Some people need hearing aids. You might need a mind aid. You might need that. Mm -hmm. And I wish good nights for you too. Chat, <laughs> Ch Chaticus Aurelius, as a group, gang, the full scrunch, wishing all of you a many good nights. Well, this motel sure sucks. This place is scary. Also, I'm a little baby, and so like I gotta climb up in the. Can you imagine being like the teeny tiny baby and having to like climb up in the bed like a crazy person? Just by hang on. <laughs> oh, Google, I climb in bed. This shit's giving Among the Sleep a run for its money. I never thought I'd be this much of a child baby in a video game. The good part though is that means I can nothing bad can happen to me because like if I'm child baby tiny man, then like they can't hurt me. Because that would be against the ESRB. <gasps> what, what, what? Oh, dude, Motel Man's gone. What if he was killed? Hope he wasn't. Oh, God damn it, it's raining again. Day three, get the key? Go to Motel, stay for the night next day to get the key from question mark. Day three, get the key. Ooh. So, so now Thick Note, Thick Note is confused, which does frighten me. Because I feel like if Thick Note is confused, then I'm really confused. Because Thick Note is supposed to... That's not the mayoral. Oh. It's mayoral wife. Okay, so we know canonically that the picture grunts in the man. Welcome to my house, officer. What bring you here? I came to take the basement key of the lighthouse. Here, take it. But be careful. I heard some bad thing about that place. Who on picture with you? Which picture? Oh, that one. Sorry, I can't remember. Who on picture? I don't know why. Well, you can hear his voice. <laughs> uh, I like how that lady sounded like a frightened goat. Actually, more like a frightened sheep. What does is, what is Thick Note say? S sketch, sketch, sketch basement of light, search basement of lighthouse. Okay, I can read. S sketch lighthouse. Well, I sure hope they let me boat back over there. It'd be a shame to have to swim in the rain through the ocean to get to the lighthouse. Can you imagine how fucking unhinged that shit would be and how hilarious it would be if like a protagonist just like jumps in the fucking ocean? Like, I gotta get that lighthouse, jumps in the ocean and just starts swimming. That would be like fears to fathom eat the entire lasagna level of unhinged stupid. Like, man, I sure wish I had a boat. Oh well. Fuck it. And just <laughs> just jumps in the water and starts going. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. That's what I want to see from horror games. I want to see like more people just do the most wild shit. Like, I'm getting in the water right now. And I'm going. Fuck around. Let's do it. Do you think Fishman is over there still? Let's find out. He's not. 
Many good nights to you as well, good sir. Yes, thank you. Let us all, let us all achieving it. The lady didn't recognize the photo of her and the mayor, her husband. Correct. That is, that is in fact what happened. Yes, indeed. That is what, that is what went down. She was too busy making goat sounds and she couldn't even recognize her hush band. Crazy. All right, here we go. No one lives under the lighthouse, dude. Starring William Daffo. You know, I never actually watched the, uh, the film of that. Oh my god, really? Damn, that's wild. I will here in a second. Erica ordered some food from a place that actually just recently started doing some late night delivery that's not like a million dollars. And, uh, we're now curious if it's gonna get here correctly, because it's like, they do delivery until like two. And I don't, I, we're, we're curious to see if the food will be correct. We should do a, we should do a point bet. Damn, dude, there's a fucking maze down here in this bitch. Holy shit, was he gunshot? Uh-oh. Oh. He did. He was gunned. Dude, wait, why is he bleeding out of his eyeballs? is like this is solid that is some weird ass fucking noise Fucking like foghorn, just like losing its goddamn mind. That's cr like it's kind of funny sounding, but at the same time, I actually kind of dig just like how like weird that is. Just a weird fucking sound. Oh, maybe I go check like the. I guess all we can do is go up. Yo, those sounds are fucking creepy. Oh, it's all good, Lily. No, I can I can do it here in just a second. We have some time. It's no biggie. Oh, that's not that's not okay. Oh, okay, and then it just ends. You know, okay. So, um. It's it's not like super duper scary or like whatever, but I got to say. Um, and while the last little bit there, like the, the, the face is not like the creepiest thing ever. Um, considering it was made in seven days, uh, I think the bit in the bottom of the lighthouse is pretty good. Like the sound of that thing, pretty creepy. Uh, I like that there's not actually anything chasing you from the seams, like what, from what it seems. It's kind of like got some whale sound, like foghorn, kind of weird. Oh, okay. Um. Wait. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do let's do a predictathon really quick because it is on the way. So let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, I appreciate that the game just kind of closes. It says Koi, and then it just, like, ends. Um. Alright. Will food right? Uh, yeah. Nah. I'm gonna give you guys, uh, two minutes? It's like a little burger place, so it's just, like, some fries and some, like, other stuff. It's really not, it's not a complicated order. It's, like, some little chicky, chicky nuggies or something and, like, some fries. It, again, it's not, like, some super complicated order, so... Bet a, bet what you will on that, because it was literally 
like a fry and like a little pie thingy and like yeah, it's, it's nothing like crazy so all right oh david oh i'm supposed to it is like relatively new yes to us yeah i i admired it in general i like so it wasn't like super scary or like amazing but uh god you soaked damn you could make it hard too Yeah, it should be here. Should be here in a second, so I'll let you guys. Yeah, two minutes on the bed, so if you want to get you some points, then there you go. There's a chance. Um, I'm just gonna keep an eye on the little tracker thingy so I can go grab it. Uh, yeah. So get your get your bets in. I don't know. It's it's not Wendy's. It's kind of like it though. It does like little cheeky nuggies and burgers and whatever. We we've never had one before. I, I think it's nationwide. It's they're called Checkers. Uh, they recently like opened up here. We we've never had one before though. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, get your point bets in. Um, I've had their stuff like once before, and it was it was alright. This isn't about it being alright though. It's about it being correct, which is uh, which is gonna be the more. It's Carl's Jr. on the West Coast. No, it's not. That's that's Hardee's. They're decent. They have a uh, good fries. That sounded really dismissive. I did not mean to sound like... <laughs> I'm sorry. It was my own brain confusion. I'm sorry if that sounded mean. No, Carl's Jr.'s is Wendy's. Or, uh, Hardee's is what they call it over here. Which we don't even have, like, Hardee's at all anymore. Which is really... Whatever. Um, I think Checkers is probably just Checkers. They're called Rallies here. Oh, okay. Ch Checkies is Checkies. <laughs> like I said that, that sounded way more like dismissive or like you're wrong than I meant. To. It was not supposed to sound like that. <laughs> that was not supposed to be the way that sounded. That was more like me, my own brain being like confused. I'm like, no, it's not. That's fucking Hardee's. Apparently in 25 states, not mine. I don't know how many of them, how many of them are here. Because uh, like, I'm pretty sure this is like the first one. Uh, it's the first time we've had one. But... Yeah, they, they, it's pretty pretty well rated. The food isn't poorly rated there. Uh, apparently the wait time is, because apparently what they built it was like the dumbest fucking thing ever. And like they... They did that thing where they like built it next to like a wooded kind of area with like trees and shit. And like, it's like where if you get in the to-go line, like for the drive-through, you're trapped. So like a bunch of people, but there was one dude who left a review that was like, I have been waiting in this line for 45 minutes. He's like, and I can't leave. He's like, I would. I know. I, I'm watching it. I'm. I know. I'm. I'm watching it specifically. You don't need to. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Erica's like, it's here. I'm like, it's, it's almost here. <laughs> um. All right. Let me go. Let me go grab this. We'll see if it's wrong. Here we go. I shall return.
Kyle wants some chicken tendy. Dude, do it. In before it's wrong, I got bad news. <laughs> What's interesting is that it's not, it's not, it wasn't wrong in the sense of like they got like the food wrong. They just like forgot like two or three things. Which is fine. We got our money back for the stuff they forgot. Um, yeah, there was supposed to be like two fries. They only did one. There was supposed to be a second drink. They only did one. Uh, and then they were supposed to be like something else and they left that off. Oh no, it counts as wrong for sure. <laughs> no, just straight up just missing shit. Oh yeah, like that's 100% just wrong. I'm just, gr I'm just glad that they uh, glad we were able to get our money back for it. Not the whole thing, but the things we were missing. Which is always all I care about. It's only, yeah, just one, just one. God, dude. You know, honestly, if I hadn't received one chicken tender that one time, then I would have been like, uh, then like the the idea of receiving just one fry from a company sounds outrageous to me. But because of the one isolated chicken tendy incident, which somebody would have to dig through like Twitter to go find that. Um, also, my God, look at the points going to the nose. Holy shit. Oh, there weren't that many people that voted, right? How many people voted? It can't have been that many. Oh, fuck, it was 16 people. Damn, dude. Damn, dude, three people fucking voted no and 13 voted yes. Jesus Christ, enjoy your points. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your points. I don't blame people for going on the yes front. That, that was a pretty simple order. Because it wasn't like, there was like no burgers or anything like that. There was like nothing to like fuck up. So like the only way they could fuck up was if they just completely forgot shit, which is 100% what they did. I just 100% left stuff off. Um, there's the one thing I do appreciate about like DoorDash and shit is that like, while I don't really like them in general, uh, I do appreciate that like they actually, like you can actually get your shit like refunded to some like reasonable extent. We ordered food from one place that we picked up from the restaurant one day. Like we did like a takeout thing. And it sucked because like we got it home and like it was there, but like, oh, for, oh my God, I forgot to show you guys this. Hang on a second, I gotta find this fucking, this, this baked potato. You gotta see this shit. Dude, this is awful. God, I hope I didn't fucking delete it after I sent it. It would, dude, it was so bad. Oh my god, I hope, I think I might have. Damn. Um, shit, dude, I wish I hadn't. Oh, I wish I hadn't deleted that. Hang on a second, let me see if, uh, let me check the photo history on this, because, like, I might have... Oh no, I think I did get rid of it. Fuck. Ah. Uh, maybe I didn't from here. Maybe it was just on the. Oh, yes. Okay. Hang on a second. No, because you guys, you guys gotta see this shit. This is awful. This is terrible. I haven't bet in weeks and months. Congrats on my rare points. Oh, did you vote no? <laughs> you, you knew the fucking score. You knew you knew where this was going. How's everybody doing, by the way? You guys doing all right? Everybody hanging hanging in there? We all we all doing okay? What did everybody eat for dinner? Why is this not sinking? Oh shit! I also forgot about table cream. Damn! I forgot to forgot to show you all that. Dude, I, I I realize I'm fucking up. I didn't I didn't show you guys like the worst things ever. Okay, dude, this this is terrible. So like, we, we all know what like baked potatoes are normally supposed to look like, right? Like, I mean, they're they're supposed to be like, you know, dude, why does this have like? I had, I had to pry this son of a bitch apart. Like, you can see like my fingy in there. All right, man, let me just let me just grab a let me grab a snippy of this, and let me grab a snippy of this so I can just easily do this. Okay. So here you go. This is this is beautiful. Let me let me pull these let me pull these bad boys over here. This is good shit. <laughs> this, is, this is some fucked up stuff. All right. So first off, we got we got this bad boy, which is table cream, which uh, which got a good laugh out of me. Apparently they sell this. It's a uh, crema mexicana, which is table cream. I don't know why I'm doing I don't know why I'm doing Badaduchi hand because it's it's not it's not Badaduchi. This is not Badaduchi at all. As a matter of fact. Not Badaduchi at all. Um, you just, oh, you gave away 10k, damn. So that's that table cream. So if you ever like want to impress your guest and just squirt a little table cream on it, there you go. That's great. So if you ever want to just drizzle, just squirt, get a little squirt in there. Here's the fucking baked potato. So like naturally I was like, okay, um, what happened? I was like, what fucking happened to this thing? 
I was like, what did you do? Because, like, the other one, there were two of them. One was, like, the fluffy white inside. I, man, they fucking, they blasted this bitch. I was like, god damn. And so, like, we tried to let them know, like, hey, <laughs> one baked potato was, like, totally fine. And then this thing was like, what the fuck happened to this? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and, of course... Unless you like go back to the restaurant, like you like submit like a thing. And some restaurants are pretty good about this. Like if you submit like a feedback thing, you're like, hey, our food was like kind of gross, and there were a few things. Here's some pictures of them, whatever. They'll normally like message you back and be like, oh, okay, uh, you know, here's like a little, you know, whatever your receipt number is. Like here's a coupon or something, or here's like we were funded like this part of your order. Some of them will do that. Oh my god, this this place just never messages back. So I was like, nice, that's really cool. So, cause like that was wrong, and like the salad was fucking horrible, and like something else was something else was shit. And I was like, man, I come back way richer. What happened to the food? Oh, they just they just left stuff off. It actually wasn't like the items weren't wrong. The the order was wrong. Like they just like left off like three things. I don't I don't know, man. I, they, I think they put battery acid in that bitch. <laughs> I don't know what they did. I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, man, what the fuck? What did y'all, what did y'all even do to this? Um, okay. In, in a, in a desperate throw for, uh, for, oh man, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do this tonight. I might want to save this for, uh, well, the first comment is may Allah bless you all and save you from all evil with a diamond. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's fun. Religion time. That's really good. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. Good job. You go, religion. Um, let's see. I don't know, man. This looks like this could be a banger, and I'm worried that, like... I don't know if I want to do it that late. What do you guys think? You think we should, you think we should hit this thing looking, looking like it might be a... Might be big, big late-night banger? Are we gonna... Are we gonna poop? Are we gonna poop our hands? Promising comment. Yeah, the game gave them a, a religion. What if it was? What if they were like, oh, dude, now I'm fucking Abrahamic religion number four. <laughs> Be like, my God. I woke up today and I said Abrahamic religion three is who I am now. All right, cool. We can do it. I'm going to read you guys the descriptions for this. Hopefully it's good. Maybe it does. Maybe it's not. Maybe it'll be poop. Uh, it is called Funeralopolis, The Last Days. Um... Looks, uh, looks promising. It does. Dude, we should, oh, we should do point bet on this about whether or not it's gonna be a late night banger. I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot. Late night bangy? <laughs> I wrote bangy, which is not, which is not what that is. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do another point bet. All right, there's gonna be a point bet up for like two, two minutes while I eat, while I snack on this food. Just, it's just fries. Um, late night bangy, yes or no? Um, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot of it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a screenshot. Let me just screenshot. Absorb it with your eyes as you go to cast your bet on your mobile device and/or your keyboard mouse. Looks pretty damn competent. Looks pretty competent, man. And now I'm gonna. Now that you've seen it with your eyeballs, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going back, and now I'm gonna read. Okay. Which one? There is another reason to fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. Oh, you're talking about this one? Oh, it's on the... Uh, you brought it in and we set it on the... Uh, no, not on the table, on the dresser. You will birth a god and build an eternal... Go Chunkers! Dude, I hate the song's stupid talking intro too, it ruins the whole thing. Alright, so the city of Huda Grobno hasn't seen sunlight in months after strange clouds enveloped the skies above it. Something's brewing in the air and underneath the surface. You've been holed up in your apartment for a while now and are passing the time by listening to the reports about the ongoing incidents of unexplained nature taking place all over the city. One of such strange things has appeared inside your apartment and now you have someone to deal with the situation. This, they're somehow deal with the situation. This can't be good. I think, I think it could be a late night banger. I'm just saying, man. I, I've got, I got faith. You have some chance to recoup your points here. Damn, there's some big fat nose on this. Holy shit. Damn, big nose. Big, big honking nose. Just saying, nah. 
No thanks. Pass on that one. All right, well, there goes the point bet. So I hope you got your... Uh, I don't know if I want to tell you... Oh, dude. The game is also free to download, but you can pay what you want. And uh, their default is 420. So also giving them credit for that one. So if this is a banger, I'm going back and I'm giving them 420 for this game. Chance to recoup or lose even more. There you go. Bam, look at that. There's always a chance. All right, so Jigakuro donated two dollars earlier and had this uh this is from come come melt yeah that's the name of this person guy and man have different connotations with adjectable ad adjectable nouns uh like tree guy equals arborist but tree man he lives in a tree or maybe he is a tree and then the dups fed up shadow says i know a guy i have a useful contact i know a man i'm about to tell you a story yeah that's pretty that's pretty true and it's pretty true. That 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 second one was nice. <laughs> About to tell a story. Here we go. I'm going in deep. Let me actually let me actually rate these. Uh, I don't think I really had these fries. Let me let me let me give these a quick review. They're rather seasoned looking, which is which is fine. Losing, losing, losing points is the new winning. Ah damn. What? Oh yeah, they kind of are like that. Yeah, pretty good. Banger doesn't mean it has to be a good game, though. Wait, what? Hang on. Cat altercation. banger normally means it's like really good it could be so bad it's good i don't know if we've ever had a late night banger that was caught that was so bad that it was good but i guess i guess there is a first time for everything it could be it could be so fucking terrible that you're like god this is absolutely amazing i love it which would be which would be pretty impressive i mean again it's never happened but i mean again like i said you never you never know man you never know Conceptually, this is pretty cool so far. That's good, Sergeant. That's good to hear. Now, do you feel like that was more of it being a Florida problem or the restaurant? The fry, the fry on a conceptual level. Pretty damn good, actually. It's got some pretty good fart bass going on. I like it. Like if something bad goes down in Florida, my initial thought is because it's Florida. But then I guess I get more information. Maybe I can change the uh, change the tune of that. The name of this dude is Banana Jeff, by the way. Joke's on you, I don't care about Halloween or spooky games, so even if I lose, I am still subjectively right. What? What? Vinny, if you go in there and you're a butt, I swear. The game does have the game does have a uh, options menu in general, which is pretty sick. Man, look at all those audio options! Holy crap! Wow, that's impressive. I do like the fart base though. Recent event seems like God trying to unmake Florida. Dude, God's been trying to fucking unmake Florida the entire time.
<laughs> Seems like <laughs> Florida's getting undone. I'm on overnight shifts. My brain it fart. What is happening? Wait. I'm still confused. So are you saying if you lose? If you lose the poll, that it's a late night banger. You didn't care anyway because you didn't like. Wait, what? I'm so lost. I'm so lost that my brain hit fart, so. Like my brain, my brain hit double fart. You know what this kind of looks like so far? You remember that game, the Mike Klubnicka game that was like the two cities on both sides of the prisoners like shooting like the or like playing like battleship basically? It kind of looks like if you were to like live in one of those places, if that makes sense. To be, I am being the fart. What does it take to become a fart? Also, whoever's alive, post a uh, post a little bitter baby if you're ready for funeralopolis, and we can see if this is a indeed a late night late night bangerito. All right, banana Jeff, show me what you got. I eat this mozzarella. Stop, stop, stop. Mozzarella stick also is the uh, fine. That's a lot of baby. Yeah, it's because I didn't eat it right away. You know how mozzarella sticks are. If you leave them for like five fucking seconds, they just don't. Mozza one of mozzarella's most appealing qualities, which is its stretchiness fades away after like 13 seconds of it not being piping hot. Which is really funny when you think about it. It's like the one thing most people are like, oh, I love me some gooey gooey mozzarella, and then it's just like, oh, too bad, dude, it's been 14 seconds, that bitch is hard now. Damn, this has got a... This has already got a look to it, man, this is impressive. Oh my god. It's like a real video game. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the street. No jump, good call. The streets are much quieter nowadays. No wonder with the current air conditioner. Air condi- air- okay, it was air condition. Empty pot full of dirt. Stuff I don't need in the house. Is this source? Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. Um, no, I don't, yeah, I don't think so. Stuff I don't need in the house. Damn, stick that bitch out. <laughs> okay, so right there. That's what I'm talking about. My, like, my voice has not recovered since the Sonic Subathon, because that would normally be where I could be like, Stick that bitch outside! But I, could, I couldn't shift between, like, my normal stupid voice and that, which is worrying. <clears throat> it allows me to pick up on radio signals. Okay, cool. Let's look at the sky, which is very creepy on its own. The clouds just won't go away. There's, a, there's some problems. There's some problems in this place, but I gotta say, like, oh my god. How, how long did it take to make this game? Like, this has already got, like, some good-ass polish to it. Holy crap. The watch actually works, too. Damn. My apartment has become quite messy in recent days. I don't really care. Okay. Why would your voice be strained? You only talk for ten days straight. But you think it would be recovered by now. 
Oh my god, like it really does work. Holy shit. That's crazy. I was waiting to see if like the minute hand actually moved. Bro, is that Jesus? That's oh, oh that's Papa, that's Papa too. Got this thing for my grandma. Is that seriously, is that a picture of Pope Pope uh Pope Jean Benet Ramsey or whatever? I have to get them off the wall one day. It makes me look like a madman. Empty. Oh my god. That's a lot of words. Voice of the City, uh, Wednesday, July 1983, Polish language edition. Unrest in the mines, increasing number of KWIM, uh, Huto Grobna, uh, Grobno, uh, Grobno, maybe? Mine plant workers sent home over recent incidents in the factory area. Their identities remain classified. The official ruling of the Mine Council announced on June 10th. Resumption of mining work in eastern sectors. In order to reduce the losses caused by the stagnation in the factory mining area, the city government has decided to resume mining operations in the eastern region. This area was estimated to be the most stable and uh, safe for workers. Other areas are under evaluation. Members of the Eastern European Trade Delegation of the city. Uh, Sonda, negative, Sonda 5 is sent towards uh, Mars. It will fly to the recently discovered third moon of Mars, Harmony. The probe was launched from uh, neutral no man's land. Residents of the nearby town of Kudo Grobno could see a streak trailing behind the flying satellite in the night sky at 9.33 p.m. See what? We haven't even seen, we haven't even seen the sun in months. I was about to say, I, I was about, oh, look, a ficus. It's seen better days. There's only so much you can do without much sunlight. Clouds are getting thicker every day. We haven't even seen sunlight in months. We learned that. We learned that from the note. Okay, you got like this notebook over here. <clears throat> Whoa. Holy shit, you can read all of this. Oh my god, a bunch of papers lying around. March 1983, the move revealed some curious or some curious equipment needing repairs that got my attention. I prepared a list of needed parts that need to be bought. Shop is open between 8 and eight and uh, 14 o'clock. Things needed in new bar, new apartment. New bedding, get the safe app, replace the bathtub, need to contact the office, fix the fridge, and wash it. Sort out this year's papers by Sunday. Previous overseer left this office in shambles. The estate council needs the documents to be sorted out until the next meeting. I don't know if I'll manage to do it on time. I imagine this job would involve working with the terminal in much bigger capacity than working with people. I also never got to meet the previous overseer. They resigned quickly with no notice. The council cannot seem to get in touch with them to this day. Uh, I'm on page four of this. I'm going to keep sniffing around for a second before I read all of that. Just your regular landscape painting. Empty bottles. Recorder. Old radio equipment. I'll fix them one day. The fact that there's like little interactables on <clears throat> all of this is nuts. Damn working reflections, dude! Oh my god. Same old, same old. <laughs> same old mullet. Work it. God, the production quality on this is nuts. A lot of reading. Do not throw away. Uh, let's see, it's a newspaper thing here. Central mine flooded, beginning. Underground source of an unidentified liquid was discovered while working the city's deepest open pit mine, Centrum Grobno. A thick rust-colored substance flooded the bottom of the mine in the last less than an hour. And it appears the liquid level is gradually rising. Initial estimates by the research staff of the Church of Faith and Enlightenment say the water source is highly contaminated and poses a potential health risk. Work at the mine is suspended until further notice. The incident will have a catastrophic effect on the economy of the in, of an independent city. Yeah, I bet. Damn, you can even turn on and off the desk lamp. Holy shit. Work-related stuff in my binders. More binders. More books. <laughs> Novels to read before sleep. The sound of the clock's alarm will one day give me a heart attack. Me too. I'm not slept yet. Okay. I don't really use it nowadays as I don't leave the house as often. Okay. Look at that. Didn't didn't push me out of bounds. Unbelievable. Wardrobe filled mostly with junk and unused appliances. We got a vacuum cleaner. Neighbors sometimes come to borrow it as these are not very common here yet. Which is weird because they were talking about like going to like this is obviously like alternate universe crazy land, but like, because they were talking about a, we got a fuse box over there. It's a Pragatron style date display. Okay. Damn, dude, I love the look of this game like a ton. Like this looks great. Washing machine, got some medicines, painkillers, cleaning detergents, <clears throat> cabinet full of various bathroom supplies. We got a sink. Sink is old and the dirt won't come off. It's old and gross. I'm waiting to have it replaced. I don't. Th I don't think they're coming to replace it now. It seems like shit hit the fan at some point. Oh my god! What a reasonable individual. 
with their toilet paper on the roll and then stocked behind the toilet up on a, like a shelf. Can you even imagine a reasonable bathroom like this? That's a little scary, isn't it? Both of these bathrooms are far too reasonable. I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> I don't know how to live anymore. Painting of flowers. Gloomy outside. I have a feeling this uh, this calendar is going to come into play here. I'll have to get the groceries soon if the outside conditions get better, that is. I can always eat in the building's cafeteria with other residents if I need to. Ladles and other kitchen utensils. A little bread box. Knife block. God, the amount of interactables in this is nuts. This apartment seems very polished. I'm assuming that's a joke about it being Polish. Because it's polished. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I guess let's go back to the notebook over here because we want to figure out what's going on here, I guess, or at least what we know. Buy a newspaper. There was, there was talk today at the estate council meeting about some sort of accident in the mines. I need to go out and buy a newspaper because apparently too much of my attention was taken up with recent repair projects. I managed to read multiple newspapers describing the accident, and it seems that it's the most talked about thing in the city. The, uh, the whole thing seems very sketchy. There still hasn't been any official report that would describe the situation in more detail. People are saying that the church is way too involved with the incident and is suppressing much of the information. I wonder if the rumors are true. I have an idea of how to get more info about the accident. The church is using a special transmitter and a hidden frequency for confidential communications, and I think I can figure out how to construct a receiver that's compatible with my machinery. Go get the missing parts tomorrow. Uh, I managed to figure out the construction of the transmitter, and I'm 90% confident it'll work. Uh, unfortunately, I can't test it right now, as there seems to be no traffic this late at night. I need to catch up on work. Receiver's working. I haven't picked up any relevant or imp uh, important info yet, but it might be a good idea to start transcribing what I hear from now on. The thought hadn't occurred to me until now, that, but is what I'm doing right now even legal? Probably not. Uh, new, in May, a new tenant's moving uh, moving into the apartment number 24. From what I've been told, it's supposed to be some young lad of college age. I hope he won't cause too much trouble. With most of the staff ill, I have to deal with the cleanup of this flat myself. I don't have time for this. I cannot focus on my work. The backlog of documents keeps piling up. But the only thing on my mind is the radio. First attempt at transcribing what I picked up today, unfortunately, was nothing interesting, just idle banter between the crew. I need to come up with a better system to only note the important things. I was able to hear a few conversations about the mining zone that was flooded back in April. It seems that the church is unofficially calling this liquid the soup. Oh my god, we have an actual thing called the soup in a horror game. Apparently it's because the thing is unusually thick in consistency and has a dark color and strong smell. It sounds different than what was described in the newspapers. Some churchmen are even comparing the liquid to thickened blood. The rest of the text is, in, un, uh, is illegible due to water damage. I spilled my coffee all over the notebook because one of the residents decided to scare me with a doorbell. They even complained about me not being in the office during work hours. Thankfully, I managed to take care of the catastrophe quickly and not much of my notes were lost. In wonky text, I cannot write on this. They were discussing the, they were discussing the quarantines in the factories today. To sum up what I was able to hear, it's very bad. If someone wasn't released in the first week, there's apparently little to no chance of them leaving the quarantine. The situation seems very serious, but I don't know any details as to why. I only know that it has some connection to the soup. What exactly? I have no idea. I really wonder what the exact statistics are, which group is larger, how many residents of this building are not coming back. I gotta say, um, this is rare, <clears throat> but I find it interesting that, like, due to the level of polish of this, the visuals of it, and the general presentation so far, I would normally find that level of dialogue, like, kind of exhausting. But because they've done a good job of kind of, like, Oh my god, there's a fan switch. Jesus Christ. Seriously, the level of polish in this is, is crazy. Like, this is this is nuts. Alright, well, time to start interacting with the radio, I guess. See what's going on. Marks the 45th day of the intense sky cloudiness. It's like, people are advised to stay indoors and don't leave their windows open as the air can have a negative effect on the lungs, scientists say. We still don't know the source of the city's air pollution, but the right people are working on the problem. For now, all we can do is stay calm and use the time spent indoors to take care of those closest to us. Uh-huh, for now the closest thing for me is this plant in the corner of the room.
guess this is the church's station. God, that's eerie. It kind of slaps. Are we blessed? Maybe we should. We should be. Uh... I wonder if that's just kind of like on. We'll have to come back to it. Church's private frequency. Had another confrontation in one of the closed sections of the, f the factories. Smart call on this too. This is another tes a testament to its production quality. When you're tuned in, since it's not actual speech that you're having to like follow on the radio, you can actually advance it at your own speed as opposed to like missing something, which is nice. Two of our people injured. Severity of injuries is mild and non-life threatening. Five quarantine factory workers have been compromised. One suffered fatal injury. Requesting two emergency trains to help with the cleanup of the biohazard related to the aftermath of the incident. We can't determine the type of hazards we're dealing with. Approach the scene with caution. I'm getting hungry. It's dinner time after all. So we know that the the fa the their frequency is like somewhere in this range right here. So we need to. Okay, so I guess, uh, so we can go back, um, we can go back to the stations, looks like it is just playing it. Why is the search the organization dealing with biohazards? Probably because they're the governing body. I think they said, uh, oh. Oh my god, dude. Time to eat. Some leftover dumplings. I should check the radio after dinner. I don't want to miss anything interesting. Oh, it is a little bit... I guess it is a little bit darker out there, isn't it? Dude, that... that the, the real-ass reflections are going to screw me up so bad. Still can't get over this. They have a light switch and a fan switch, which is just kind of insane. Reporting from Sector O2, the mining hole... Today we recorded a sudden uh, sudden increase in the unidentified liquid that's been filling the mine. Caught some of the crewmen off guard. They came into contact with the substance. We did preliminary cleanups and followed the latest draft of procedures. They should be arriving at HQ's medical ward on the next incoming tram. Take care of them. There are also new samples of the soup arriving on the same train. They were taken today after the sudden rise. I, I think I saw its surface move today. Although I think I wish it were all in my imagination. Reports from the mines are becoming more and more concerning as the days go by. So the churchoids, so they think they saw it, saw something on the surface move, which is definitely. I love just like the music that's here too, which makes complete sense, which is interesting. I use this to record more important bits of radio transmissions. I wonder if that's going to be like. Okay, he's not taking additional notes. I was wondering. Oh. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. Oh. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go check that out. Dude, like, the lighting and the visual style of this is, like... Mm. This, I mean, this is fucking crisp. Cracked wall. What the fuck? I can't see through the hole. It's pitch black. Is this one of those abnormal things churchmen were talking about on the radio? I need to see if the wall on the other side is broken, too. It should be visible from the hallway staircase. Wow, you can sprint. Oh my god, they did model the whole fucking hallway. God damn, dude. This is not like I thought it was gonna be small. I had no idea it was gonna be this big ass area. Jesus Christ. This is nuts. I can't see anything weird from this side. It's getting late and I'm tired. I'll figure something out tomorrow. Oh, who the hell is that? Hey, overseer. From Adam. What you doing here admiring the walls hello adam i'd really appreciate it if you didn't sneak up on people like that sure sure is there anything going on or no not really it's nothing you have to worry about if you say so god damn like i just yeah i just can't get over the just can't get over like the model work and like the 
general presentation and everything so far. It's just nuts. Because this is the overseer's office. Weird guy. I think I can go to sleep now. There's just like nothing I can do about the cracked ass wall now, I guess. Still can't get up, like the all the functioning light switches and shit. Oh shit, there's people on the street. Well, they're... they're well, yeah, there's somebody right there. Almost no one is going outside. Yeah, I would imagine so. God damn, this looks cool. This game, this game got that flavor. It's not like I'll do anything with the hole today. Might as well try to contact somebody tomorrow. I hope it won't get worse at night. Middle of the night. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so not yet. It's it's the middle of the night. Something must have woken me up. I should check what it is, or I won't be able to fall asleep again. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. God damn, the lighting is good. He even changed his clothes to go to sleep. Damn. Well, there's one like the trams down there. Something's happening on the back of the building. I'll I'll be I'll see better from the end of the corridor. How's that hole looking? Look how he's like, the thing's still here. Dude, this is insane so far. Looks like Adam's over here too, I guess. Oh, shit. Adam, is something going on? You tell me. I was smoking on the balcony when I heard something going on this side of the building. I come to check it out, or I come to check, and what do you know? The church shows up. They went to, they went to one of the blocks. The church, what are they doing here? Beats me, they arrived like about 30 minutes ago, a lot of them too, all geared up and shit. The residents started coming out. Suspicious as fuck if you ask me. Very suspicious indeed. Check it out for yourself. This is, this is nuts. Like, this came out of nowhere. Like, what a... A lot of people outside. It looks like the whole building's out. Yeah, it seems like it. They're all loaded in the trains. Fuck must have happened there. I really don't like this. Yeah, no shit. I wonder, uh... I wonder if we'll hear about it in the news, you know? Oh, I really don't think so. But we'll see tomorrow, I guess. Like, the lighting down there and everything is just stellar. Like... Sofa over there. Can't use the light switches in the hallway, so. Looks like we're stuck with this. We got a little sanitization station over here. Alright, well, I guess uh, I was gonna check outside one more time, but kind of hard to. Can't really see anything from over here, so. I wonder if we can hear something on the radio now. Got almost everyone out. We're in the process of identifying residents and relocating them to HQ. Two trams are already on their way, three more to go. Sources in the basement. We'll probably need another team to secure it. I'll give you an update after all the residents are out. You think like you think like the, the there's like soup underneath their building? Hope I'll be able to fall asleep again. Yeah, good luck, dude. <laughs> good luck after that.
Oh, because another tress. Or another tress. Another tram, since I can talk. Whatever the hell a tress is. Trouble rising to the city borders. Due to the ongoing condition of the city, many people decided to leave. However, this has become severely difficult in recent days. The trains and trams leaving the city are overcrowded and the infrastructure is simply unable to keep up. Waiting times have become, un become unbearably long and some trains don't arrive at all. Those who decided to leave on foot are facing at least a two-day hike to the nearest city. It's not an easy journey to make for those who undertake it underprepared. Overcrowded trains are a long, hi or a long hiking trip. No thanks. Reporting one fatality, the guideline we received, or the guidelines we received have proven insufficient. I understand they are subject to constant change, but they have now failed us. They didn't prepare us for the event that transpired. Please update them as soon as possible to prevent further endangerment of our crewmen's lives due to these avoidable mistakes. From now on, all marked buildings confirmed to show dangerous activity must be placed under mandatory lockdown. Relocate all uncompromised residents immediately, let them take their valuables. There is a chance they won't have anything to return to. Can my apartment be marked because of the thing in the kitchen? It doesn't look that serious, but maybe I should take another look at it. Oh god. Oh god. Well, same as it was. Is it really that serious? It's just emitting some sound. It doesn't look like something that would warrant a liquidation of the whole building. I can always try to record it to determine whether it's dangerous or not. I just need to pick up some equipment from the living room. Recorder will do. I only need to get a microphone now. Should buy a really expensive microphone. It's overkill for what you do. <laughs> okay, I got almost everything set up. I'm only missing a cable. It should be one in the office. Or one in the office hallway. Was that what he, did he say? Office hallway? Should be one in my office in the hallway. You're referring to your bedroom? There's some binders in there. He's got books. Oh, right. Yeah, the overseer's office here. Oh, hey. You can look through the peephole. That's neat. Mrs. Clinic is sweeping the hallway. What up, Clemic? Let's go talk to her. Hello there, I haven't seen you in a while. Good day, Mrs. Clinic. I see you're stepping in for the janitor today as well. What more is there to do for such an old lady like me? Who knows when our janitor will come back. Poor guy. How are you holding up? Oh, I'm getting by, no reason to worry here. Just getting a little bored, as Henrik is asleep most of the day. Is your husband unwell? Well, he's been better, that's for sure. Uh, he's sleeping right now. He's been like that a lot recently. The air had an impact on his health, I'm afraid. Of course he won't admit it when asked. Sorry to hear this, I hope he gets better soon. Oh, wait, did some of these doors open down here? Adam's blasting music again. As long as no one complains, I don't really mind. It's a banger, too, dude. <laughs> Adam, how are you having a good time? I don't need to go down. Oh, you can use a light switch. Nice. Jesus Christ, he's got a lot going on in this office, dude. Holy shit, look at that mullet. Apartment rental payment booklet, uh, Crook, Adam, Balansko. Monthly amount of rent not registered. All payments are waived for the duration of the environmental emergency. Imagine that. Council of State of the 50th Anniversary Neighborhood. Reminder address for the overseer of the residential block at Balunska 6. Members of the council are concerned about your lack of dedication to work as well as the mixed feedback derived from a survey conducted among the amongst the residents of the block. We kindly request that you attend an interview summarizing your work trial period with regards... Okay, so we got... A lot of ob obituaries have piled up over the last few months. Sweet poster over here. God damn, there's so much, like, put into this, like... Terminal used to access all important data related to this block's management. It's a privilege to have access to such a complicated and powerful machine. I wouldn't be allowed to use it if it weren't for my job. Box filled with junk. 
Okay, so we got ourselves we got ourselves a cobbler. This is really good, dude. Oh, maybe just wait wait this out here. Oh, can I peephole it? Church tram is here. That can't be good. Uh, oh shit! Hey, I'm the representative of the church's scientific division. You're this building's overseer, I presume? Yeah, that's me. Hello. Good. We'll have to take a look at the terminal's records. Of course, take whatever you need. We will. Say, have you have any of the residents reported anything unusual happening around the building? Keep it to yourself. Oh, shoot! Look at this dialogue select. Holy shit, that's awesome. Keep it to yourself. There's nothing that I know of. And it's not like they'd uh, tell me if anything worrisome happened. Oh, aren't you the overseer? I got this position not long ago, or not so long ago. The residents don't trust me yet. I see. Shame. More work for us. One of my men will stay here to take the data from the terminal. We'll be back in a few days to do a more thorough search of the whole building. Mandatory, just so you know. Sure, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, cool. Enjoy, uh, enjoy sniffing. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm here to collect the data from the terminals. If you have anything to report, please take it to the other crew members. Church is talking with Mr. and Mrs. Clemick. Hope it's nothing serious. Is something the matter? Do you have anything unusual to report? What kind of unusual are you looking for exactly? I'm afraid I cannot share this information with you. If you encounter anything out of the ordinary in the near future, please contact the church directly. Sure. Oh, I guess so, like, these guys, these guys have to use, like, the communal stuff, but, like, I guess you don't because you're the overseer. Building's pro the bu this building's probably completely empty. What is with the, what's, what's, the, what's with this white rectangle on the wall? Oh, interesting. I saw the church lady come into the office. Do you know what's really going on here? Is this just a regular checkup? Sorry, Adam, I'm afraid I know nothing more than you right now. Bomber, I'll just wait and ask her myself, I guess. Yeah, go for it, Adam. I'm sure that's going to go well. I'm sure the hole in the wall is nothing that serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not serious. Cable needs to be plugged into an electrical outlet. God damn, dude. All set up and ready to record. I should give it some time to pick up the sounds. I'm getting hungry, too. Dude, we gonna do dumps again? Oh, dude, we got a sandwich? Yesterday's sandwich from the cafeteria. They're starting to get pretty nasty. But I'm not about to let the food go to waste now. Nothing left to do to wait for the recorder to do its thing. I just had to wait. Alright, we already ate. That's cool. It'd be better if I don't go to the kitchen for the time of the recording. I wonder if there's anything going on, on the radio. I also hope the churchmen haven't done much damage to the office. They probably fucked that shit up. Pawn to H6, Pawn 2D to 4D. Night from H6 to F6. They're playing chess over the radio? I don't want to listen to that. I can always update my notebook with new developments to pass the time. The recording should be ready now. Okay. So looks like the trams are still rolling. There's some folks walking down the streets. Not a lot of them, but we see one or two every now and again. We should not have listened to that.
bed. I need to lay down. I'm about to throw up. Maybe I can puke. I'm gonna hold on. Okay. Well, we still look okay. Whatever we heard, though, we're not thrilled with. Let this all just end. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, we can sprint. Look at that. I was wondering if we could check our watch and it was going to be, like, falling apart. My time would just be going nuts. I got was like door question mark. It's like I don't know if that's actually a door. Oh god. Well. The hole ate our arms, so that's fun. I don't want to touch it. Oh my god. This needs to be cleaned up ASAP. <laughs> yeah, it does. No time to waste. I don't want to deal with dried blood. Did we actually... Did I really lose so much blood? Did you actually lose your arm? The sounds are gone. Yeah, I bet they are. Sorry, the light switches are very satisfying to hit. Um, we we didn't. I need to wash the blood away. The red's not coming off. I don't know what it is, but I mean, it's, I guess whatever. I don't feel any pain. I guess it's whatever the hell your uh, your hand was replaced with. But we did all we uh, we did lose ye clock. We for sure did lose it. Good. Close stain with blood. I better wash these now, or the stains won't come off. Look at the little animation they do for like the watch. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> I just like that they make it kind of wiggle. It's a good, I mean, it's a good choice to show that it's, like, working. It's, like, kind of a fun way to do that. It's not, like, crazy disruptive or anything like that, either. Who the hell is this? Okay, well, let me back up and see what the hell this dude wants. What does this say? Citizen, make it easy for the staff to work on maintaining security. Uh, cooperate with the church inspecting the building where you live. Report any past stay in the industrial factory area. Report any observed abnormal or unexplained events that you may have trouble explaining. Unannounced visual changes in your residence building. Sudden efflorescence of mold. Uh, God, actual correct usage of efflorescence. That's... I wasn't prepared for that. Sounds of unidentifiable origin. Persi uh, persistent and unprecedented skin lesions. If in doubt, ask facility staff. Working with church staff helps your neighborhood... Helps keep your neighborhood safe. It is kind of crazy that, like... I don't trust the church, but the church is like kind of <laughs> They're the ones who are like, dude, you need to like tell us what's going on because like what <laughs> I've got walls eating your hands and shit Is something the matter? Did something happen? Yes, there is a problem a light at the end of the hallway It's not working and sparks come out when you turn it on janitor's not here. Can you fix it? Can't you just not turn it on until the janitor shows up? No sparks can cause fire that would be bad it's your job to take care of the problems here. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Just give me a moment. Good. I like that his uh, his text was also... There should be some bandages in the bathroom cabinet. No, it ba do you have a glove, man? Jesus, I feel like a glove would be like... Le less suspicious than bandaging your entire hand. <laughs> They're like, you see anything suspicious? No. They're like, what happened? Be like... I stuck my hand in a blender because I wanted fingers like AI art. What is he even yelling about? Oh, this won't last long. Who? Oh, the guy down there on the street. He's like holding up a sign. Oh 
Oh my god. Also, what was this dude's name? Nita, I think? Oh, that's Mr. Clemick, a different guy. Good morning, was that Mr. Nita at your door? I haven't seen this guy in ages. Yeah, that was him. I tried knocking on his door, but he always ignored me. He hasn't been the same since he was dismissed from the factories a month ago. Oh well, maybe he'll come around in time. I don't think he's gonna come around in time. You can come No, the yelling does sound very, very real. Yeah, I guess it got damaged pretty bad. I have tools in my office. He could have also said it was the one above his apartment that he wanted, like, because he's like, oh, it's above my apartment. Which would have made, which would have made more sense. Instead of just saying the light at the, at the end of the hallway. It also looks like the church really didn't mess with as much as I thought they would. I get that light fixed. Dude, this is insane so far. Like, unless they just royally blow it here in a minute and it just becomes the dumbest goddamn thing ever. This legitimately might be one of, like, the highest production value, like, Spooky Month games that we've done in a bit. Like, this is, this is crazy. Quick fix should be enough to keep it steady for now. This has to be, like, a group of people. There's no way this is, like, a solo dev. Now to see if the lamp itself got damaged. We ran out of light bulbs a while ago and still didn't get the delivery. Oh, thanks, Mr. Nita. I love that their faces pixelate a little bit. That's so weird. What's your problem? Mr. Nita, that was highly inappropriate. Nice bandage. Just wanted to see... See what... What happened to your hand. That's no concern of yours. I'll be going now. See you in hell. Alright. Well? Nah, we don't have to turn off the power, Targoth. What are you talking about? That's easy. What's up, Adam? Hey, Overseer. I kind of overheard the conversation a bit. What was that creepy old guy about? I don't really know. I guess that's his mental health. Is, uh, get, his mental health is getting, wor getting worse, and the current situation probably doesn't help. I haven't seen the guy leave his apartment since he came back. Even to get any food from a cafeteria or anything. Good to know he's not dead, I guess. Is Mr. Nita bothering you in any way? If the noises are too much of a nuisance, I can talk to him about it. The noises? What noises? The guy's dead quiet to the point I thought he uh, died. His apartment kind of stinks, I guess? If you get too close to his door? Do you want to hear any noise complaints from me? Interesting. I should put the toolbox away. My apartment's cluttered enough as it is. I don't need this. I guess let's go check the radio because I'm having to. I wonder if, if dude's still yelling outside. Um. Okay, so uh, there is a gigantic blood stain, and now Yelly Man is gone. Dude, this is nuts. Oh no, the blood is coming out of the walls over there. Oh shit. Oh. Great. <laughs> Crowd's attention is now split between the bloodbath and the crack on the street. God, dude, those uh, those like poles like tilting was awesome. God, this game is sick, dude. This is crazy. Our broadcast is being postponed due to sudden on-site developments. We'll provide an update on the situation soon. Okay, so the regular news has just all but given up, it sounds like. They're just like, well... Great. I'll take the two-day hike now, thank you very much. What the fuck was I thinking? What is, what'd you do? They have completely closed off part of the factories due to some sort of chemical or biological contamination, which is likely conducting the mines flooding. Uh, unfortunately, the church members didn't share much details regarding the situation. I don't really know what happened. Since the mine was flooded, the level of the soup has been rising slowly but consistently. 
However, recently the rate at which the mine is filling up has increased significantly. This is where they saw that the uh, something in the on the surface moved. Uh, where there was a crack in the kitchen wall, the giant hole is now open. It's unnaturally dark and emits some sort of sound I cannot identify. I'm in the process of recording it. The church conducted a checkup rounds around the neighborhood. They're looking for any... Oh, because he probably wrote it down. He just wrote damn it all on this one. Um, he probably wrote down what happened with the, uh, with the wall, which... Honest, honestly, the entire thing about the crack in the wall should probably be removed. <laughs> At least he could feign ignorance on it and be like, I didn't see it. <laughs> I like how he just asked the whole, what even is it? Not hungry. Okay. There's no, there's no church on the radio. Who the hell is that? Mrs. Bajir? Did something happen? What was that? An earthquake? What's going on? I think so. The street in front of the building is all cracked. Oh god, why is all this happening? No one really knows, but we're going- we're all going through the same thing. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're an excuse- you're an excuse of an overseer. I can't fathom why out of all the candidates the board chose you. You care only about that weird machinery of yours and not about the residents. Why didn't you choose to work at the factories then, huh? Isn't that taking this too far? Commuting to work is too much of a hassle for you. You were probably- you were probably after the apartment too, so that you could hole up in there for days avoiding everyone else. Sharing spaces with the residents is below you, huh? You shouldn't be here, just fucking leave. Boy, you're nice. Also, more working reflections. Would you like to see my hand? You alright? Oh yeah, because they're excited. Because they're like, hey. Eric had the door shut because he, he was trying to get some sleep. The cats just bolt in. They're like, yes. That actually has opened the door. Why have I even bothered? The bandage is getting really uncomfortable to wear. Might as well take it off. I don't feel like going outside anymore today. Damn. <laughs> we'll remember that next time. You need overseer assistance. <laughs> Keep that in mind, you big butt. But it's been a while, man, since I've been like... This locked in on like a indie horror plot. Following the incident on Balanska Street, uh, we're receiving reports of small earthquakes throughout the city. Uh, cracks are as wide as one meter have, or cracks as wide as one meter have formed in the neighborhoods near the factories and mines. Tram services are disrupted by these unusual occurrences and pedestrians are advised to exercise caution while moving through the city. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere in this state. The guy just wouldn't shut up in the screaming. I couldn't tell if he was in pain or just mad. Unfortunately, we didn't get there before he lunged at some random pedestrian. At first, we thought he was covered in blood, which was partly true, I suppose. But when we got closer, we realized it wasn't just blood. His entire body was red. Blood red. We got him transported to the labs. Maybe they'll figure out what's going on. The thing is, when my teammates apprehended him after making contact, their exposed skin showed symptoms of extreme irritation. I really hope it's nothing, but it did not look good. I've had enough of this. I've had enough of this day. I'm getting really tired. My headache's getting worse. I better take some painkillers before this turns into a full-blown migraine. So far, you know what the really interesting thing about this is? is like, the church obviously is, like, not super, like, legit. But I appreciate that they're not making them just straight up, like, evil on this. You know what I mean? Like, there's, like, some nuance there where, like, they're legitimately trying to contain or fix whatever the hell this is. They don't know what it is, though, so they're trying to figure it out. And, like... It, it, like, they're obviously, like, not super trustworthy or whatever, but they don't sound like this... D oh, look, it's the church who's... They, they they did it, and then they're, like, killing people or whatever. It actually sounds like they're trying to kind of help in some spots, which is weird. Like, the whole thing with, like, the, you know, them trying to, like, apprehend the dude, not, you know... They weren't just, they just raw in there and kill him. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just interesting. Like, they're, it's, it's, again, there's, like, the level of, like, nuance here with it that's, that's, I feel like sometimes completely lost in indie horror games and stuff where they're just like, you know what? We're just gonna throw everything out the window. <laughs> so, yeah. It, no, it feels it feels pretty good so far with that. Like, they're actually doing it. Where were the... I know the painkillers were in one of the cabinets, but I don't remember... Oh, medicine was right here. Really hope this helps. Oh, I don't think it did. Did... Did things just change visually when that happened? Oh! <laughs> Dude! 
That was awesome. Oh, that was fucking good. I didn't lock the door, fuck. Who would even, uh, who would even do something like this? I hope they didn't see my hand. I've had enough of this, I just wanna go to bed. Oh my god, that was awesome. Good, good spook. The people just standing in the corridor, like, right as you come out, they just shut the door. Oh, that was good. I wonder if they stole something. They get that mess cleaned up? <laughs> no, no they did not. The, this, we already read this. This was the church's, uh, the church's notice. Yeah, we sniffed that already. Dude, this is crazy. This game is awesome. Maybe it's better to... Hey. Hey. Actually, that's Finny. Of course it is. You stop messing with that, Chunky. Maybe it's better to cover up the hole in the wall for the night. I don't want to repeat of what happened today. Hell, you gonna cover it up with a poster? The table should be the right size for this. Hello, little paw. How you doing? Hello. Hello, team. Yeah, oh yeah, that's, yeah, nobody's gonna notice that. You got it, dude, that's nice. You guys see that? Who's, I mean, y'all buy it, right? Like, if you walked in here, do a little quick inspection, you're probably just like, why's that table? You know what? I'm not asking that many questions, it's fine. That's cool, that's, that's legit. All right, Chunky Butt, thank you for coming to visit. Okay. Oh, okay, so he just wants to go to bed, so let's just, let's just go to slap. Finally, sleep. Hey, Fanny Weenie. Oh, good. I'm glad we woke up to question mark. Oh, we have our hand back. And it is uh, noon 30. And I can't see anything. Can I turn on the light? Nope. Can't turn on the light. Cool. So we can't see anything on the street. And I can't tell if just all the power is off, or... It sounds like it might have been like the music from before? Imagine your face melts down and falls off every day, but you can pick it up and mold it back together. Would you make yourself a new one? How long would it take for you to get bored of repeating the same thing every day? You know, after a while, you stop caring whether your face is there or not. It's easier this way, and it's not like anybody cares. Great. Oh. The notebook's different. Oh. Great. Good. Awesome. Unearth the sleeping corpse. Living blood spills and roams. Its form unbound. Its limits unknown. You in comparison. Oh my god. Insignificant. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Disgusting. Get off my bed. It is my bed, my place to rest. You and I are the same, placed at different intervals of time. I don't believe you. You brought it upon yourself. How was I supposed to know it would end up like this? Don't worry, you're welcome to your fate. Don't fight it. I never wanted any of this. It's not about what you want, it's about what you do. It's about what the world does to you. Don't fight it. I will, I don't agree to this, this disintegration. There's not much you can do now. It will be okay. It doesn't hurt. You won't be alone. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this... <laughs> this game's fucking wild, man. This is awesome. It's like somebody sat down and got inspired by like, okay.
Good. Here comes the church. Which I'm sure this is inspection day. And we're gonna have to like bandage our hands up or something. Oh, yep, yeah, it's worse. He's also missing his glasses. Oh no, it's not the church. It's Mrs. Klimek. I can't open the door looking like this, I'll just talk to her through the door. Overseer, please open the door. I can't, just tell me what's happening. Oh, it's Henrik. No matter what I do, he's not waking up. He's still breathing, but I can't get through to him. Phone line's busy all the time, I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm sorry, Mrs. Klimek. I'm afraid I'm in no shape to help. I'm barely able to stand. What am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Damn. Oh, oh, dude, look at this! The thing changed. Oh shit, that's awesome. <laughs> Damn. That's super cool how like they're changing the texture on it and it's just like merged into the wall. Yep, still gloomy outside, that's for sure. Not hungry, of course. What if you could take more of the painkillers? I doubt it'll help. There's, there's some hair products. Some detergent. Yeah, definitely. Yep, the bathtub is definitely old and gross, that's for sure. I thought the face, face pixelating was intentional. It, It is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's not a good, good idea to go out looking like this. But yeah, it's definitely intentional. That's another entire block of people affected by the recent mass relocations, re relocations initiated by the church. While their suspicious actions have been kept quiet so far, the citywide scale of the operation made it impossible for the situation to remain hidden forever. Both church officials and the city council currently refuse to provide an official statement. If anyone's been directly affected or has any information, please contact us. The citizens of Huda Grobno deserve to know what's going on. We're approaching the building from, anon from the anonymous resident report. It's that damn street again. We'll report after the job is done. They're probably after me. That's probably for the better. Probably the church. Yep, sure as shit. Oh, God. Oh god, he's like beyond fucked up. Did you see his face? Shit, this game's even doing, like, scale really well. And again, it's kind of hard to pull off sometimes, like, without it just turning into, like, oh, I did Lovecraft thing, and he got tentacle flying everywhere. Like, that's weird. In, like, the best way. Are you sure about your choices? Dude, if Banana Jeff is one fucking guy... With programming done by Grasswind and music made by Jaburger. Um, so, three people. So I guess you can change up your choices probably on this. Um, before we go in and maybe like try to do like a different whatever, this is so fucking good. Like, I mean, it's creepy, but it's never like Ooga Booga. It does like just the general like dread kind of like Damn, dude. Like, this is nuts.
I legit not only is it a late night banger, it's easily going on Hall of Fame. Like, I mean, like what a presentation. I mean, has this guy done anything else or did he just like just come just come swinging out the fucking gate with it? The only game. I'm a hobbyist game dev whose goal is to make small atmosphere games settled in my personal world building project. <laughs> just fucking like, oh, no big, just having a good time. Just having, just having a good time over here, just a little hobbyist. <laughs> like, I... God damn, dude. Well, we gotta go back in anyway, so... Um, my God, they, this person has to like work in the industry. Like, there's no way. There's just no way. What do you guys remember what day it was? Uh, what day was it that we told the church? Or had the option? I think it was like day two. I'm pretty sure it was because it was before the whole. Yeah, I think it was day two. God damn, this is insane. Yeah, this is one of those moments where like I see like hobbyist game like this person had to have like worked in the industry or something. Oh, you can see her in the peephole. Actually, that's interesting. Okay, so this is like all the original. Uh... Yes, this is, be this is before we recorded the whole. That's what they were talking about, people leaving the city. Yep, okay. Okay, yeah, so this is, yeah, this is where it needs to pick up the equipment from the loot. Okay, yeah, so we'll go and get, because you, you go out there and they're, right, okay. Yep. Now we need to get the microphone, I think they said. Oh, wait, did I already grab that? Wait, did we... Did I grab everything we needed? Oh, there it is. Okay, then we have to go get the... I guess you have to actually go set it down, because he's going to say he needs like the cord or whatever. I wish, I wish there was a peephole in the office here. I just cannot believe the production quality of this. Like, it's just insane. There's something abnormal happening around. Elaborate. In my apartment, there's... Well, come and see for yourself. What they saw seemed to greatly alarm them. It was a good call to tell them, you, or it was a good call to tell them, you think? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. My brain just didn't read that correctly. There was also something else that caught their attention. Your eavesdropping of their channels has been found out. Normally you'd be arrested for that. But your technical skills seem to be more important for them. You were given an offer. Declining is not an option. Not that it really mattered. It all happened too quickly. The residents weren't evacuated in time. And they were in the heart of it all. Yeah, so I guess, like, because Adam was the one who probably, like, tipped them off, right? You were safe in the- you were safe in church- the church HQ when it happened? Not that any of your actions would have changed anything. Just the guilt remains. Yeah, 
it was a good choice to make. I wonder if there's another ending. God damn. I mean, this is like insane. I just, I like how they even, I like how they even credited the dripping tap into the sink noise, like good for them. So this is developed by one person with additional programming done by one other person and then I guess somebody did the music. So I mean like, it's still in my opinion like solo dev or close to it. I mean, I, I just like, it's interesting. Like there's a lot of questions about exactly what the thing is, which they leave kind of open-ended. Um, the note, the, my favorite part is the when you go to the notebook and it shows like the degradation of like the face and everything like that and um i love the part at the end where it shows the size of the creature you and then that last page where it flips over and it's just a little snippet of you and it just says insignificant like that i mean like this this is nuts like it, it's it's so weird to me when like a developer like that just gets it i mean like i mean my god they're just on it like you know these two these two people i guess counting the music man three like <laughs> it's just it's just wild like what a what a crazy crazy good game and again late night banger 100 percent like a, a billion percent also hall of famer which this is not the first time this has happened where we do like some late night game fucking rolling in here to like one o'clock in the morning. Be like, oh, I guess we'll just give this a shot. Oops. What an what an incredible, incredible. Pe Legitimately might be one of my favorite Hall of Fame games. And like that, that puts it up against like big ones like Paratopic, First Winter, uh, Enigma Machine, um, the other side. It's like, I mean, just, just fantastic. I mean, like, unbelievably good. And, and like, I, I'm just looking, like, it's just insane. God, that's nuts, dude. Fucking late night banger just rolling in. There is one ending, the blood consumes, the only difference is where you are. Wait, what? Remember to check the radio off and look out on the hallway through the door's peephole and check the hours on your wristwatch. The checking your hour... I like how it's like this is a story oriented text heavy game with a linear structure featuring light horror elements. I like how they say light horror elements pretending like this shit doesn't just do horror better than most things are ever ever going to even attempt to do. Yeah, we're, we're going to make like a little thing at some point of like the the Hall of Fame so you guys can see it because that would definitely be good. I mean, legitimately like fantastic. Uh, damn, dude. Sorry, I'm just I'm just braining. I'm just brain. You know what the worst part is like this. It sucks because like this isn't going to be. This probably won't be huge, right? Like you're probably going to maybe get some people that like, you know, do like some YouTube runs of it and stuff like that. Like there's a decent amount of comments on it. There's like a decent amount of reviews like but like overall, I have a feeling that this will probably not get the attention that it deserves, which is which is awful. I could be wrong. I mean, but like there's there's a lot of reading, which I at first I was like, oh, my God, that's a lot of reading. Like, and the reason I say that is not because it's like Ongo Bungo, me dumb brain can't read. I mean, of course, partially it is. But what I'm getting at is like, that's a little daunting whenever you fire up like a new game. And it's like, geez, there's a lot of text in here. Right. And, uh, you know, but like when you when your visual presentation is so killer and i mean that game nails it right out the gate it's got tons of little interactables the visuals are fantastic the the audio is pretty damn good you know the movement feels good i mean it makes you actually want to like read about this happens in a few games where like when the presentation is so good that it actually makes you want to interact with the world because the difference is like some games especially in the it's especially in the horror genre they just don't have a lot visually going on or it's not like compelling in any way and then they start hitting you with just like page after page after page of just fucking dialogue and you're like my god like d there's no reason for me to care, to care yet whereas like something like this just comes out the gate swinging and is like 
let me just blow you away visually right out the gate. Let me just show you like how cool this looks. All these little interactables and stuff. Because I even said it, I said I'm gonna put the notebook on hold while I go fuck around with the apartment more. When I saw like nine pages of fucking dialogue for that, I was like, oh my god, dude, Jesus. But then like I went and looked at the rest, I'm like, okay, hang on, I, I do I want to read this because I'm already like interested in whatever the hell this place is. You know, the whole like world itself has kind of got like a city city 17 kind of feel to it at first. Um, maybe if like a like a lower tech kind of version of it. And uh you know, like once the church is interesting too, as like a pseudo antagonist, but they're really, they're really not. Like it's not like oh we're just killing people or like just silent. I mean no, like they straight up even say at one point I think that they're like taking people to try to figure out like how to help or what's going on with them, as opposed to just being like oh yeah, we just rolling and we just we just kill everybody because we bad we the bad people. You know what I mean? Like it actually seems like some kind of organization that's like trying to figure out something. They're not just, like, directly, you know, shitty antagonists, like, right out of the gate, so... Yeah, I mean, you can download the game for free. I'm gonna give them money, but, like, you can just get it, like, you can just download, you, you can just... It's ridiculous. It's really legitimately ridiculous. Like, that's fantastic. Um... You know, like, so... You look at that, and it's just, it's just really cool to see, like... This... That's just your perception as American? What, the... The trope of, like, governing body being, like, the antagonist? Well, I, I mean, I get, like, what you're saying. I'm talking about, like, whatever, like, governing body. Governing body being the antagonist in that situation is definitely a trope that you see a lot in, like, horror games. And obviously, in this case, the church isn't really defined, I think, at any point as the Catholic Church. It's just called, like, the church. And they wear, like, weird-ass fucking outfits, and I don't know if, like, whatever, but th there's plenty of tropes of, like, governing body being fucking, like, oppressive or, like, you know, hiding a bunch of shit from everybody or, like, whatever it is. But, like, in this case, specifically, it actually seems like they're not necessarily completely bad. They're definitely hiding shit from people, but they're trying to, like, prevent mass panic more so than anything else. They're just trying to, like, you know, whatever. But, yeah, I don't think that's, like, a perception as American thing. I think that's, like... I think that's just in media in general. There's plenty of instances where, like, the church or the government or the wh whatever ruling body there is of X, Y, or Z, you know, country or whatever it might be, um, is, like, the aggressor, right? I mean, that happens a lot. That's like, even reality. <laughs> like, that's, that's, yeah, that's more often the truth. But, like, so, yeah, I don't think that's just, like, a, 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 per a perception thing for being an American. Um because we're taking it very literally in that case of, like, the church. No, I'm saying, like, the church in the in the context of the game being, like, this group that seems to kind of be, like, the ruling body. Because, um, obviously, people revere them in some capacity or fear them or, like, whatever. Otherwise, people wouldn't act the way they do around them. Um, but the, uh, you know, just, like, the general presentation of that game is is nuts. Like, it... That's just wild. Like, you just stumble across... You stumble across shit that's just, and that is like, that shit was like paratopic level fucking cool. And I hope to God, whatever they do after this, I hope that people, people pay some money for it. I hope that they, I'm, I'm definitely going to, uh, because I do that with games most of the time just to keep the flow going is I'll just like download it. And then after the night's over, I'll go back through and try to try to throw like the games, especially the good ones, like some money, just cause I want to make sure that they, you know, know they did a good job. But, like, I, uh, you know, that's just nuts. Absolutely crazy. Like, 100% somebody that I'm going to be keeping an eye on, because, like, I mean, they're they're up there with the, the Kristoff phrase. They're up there with the, the paratopics and shit like that. I mean, good. Very good. Like, I like the gradual horror of there's something strange going on to slow body horror to literal giant walking monsters. Yeah, and, like, they did it in such a good way because, like, you walk outside and you just like, kind of see them in the distance and, like, it's... Compare that to something, if anybody remembers, like, the Alien Cube, um, which was nothing but asset flip land. And there's a bit near the end that tries to be, like, you know, uh, scale, where it's like, oh my god, big thing in the distance. And, like, it's like a PNG, and, like, it's fucking, like, Lovecraft tentacle shit again. I'm just like, oh, great, awesome, thanks. This was, like, different, too, because it's not just like, oh, it's big octopus tentacle, that's scary, whatever, oh, Cthulhu face. Like, it's some of these weird, like white aberration looking fucking whatever the what whatever the hell those things are supposed to be like you know like I, I, I don't know like 
whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Uh, these just like weird ass creatures that you just saw about in your notebook and so, I, I don't know, man. That was awesome. Like, and legitimately, legitimately cool. And like, obviously, it's supposed to be. I guess it's like set like in, you know. I guess it's like set in Poland. I'm not really 100% positive on that. Uh, I think it was right, but I mean, I know the game is Polish specifically because it's translated into English. I think there's only two two translations. I think it's English from Polish, but um, you know, like, but it was obviously like weird alternate whatever going on there because like obviously this wasn't based on like reality. Um, I don't know, man. That was sick. That was really fucking good. What a way to end the night. Not only a late night banger, but also a Hall of Famer, which I didn't expect to see tonight. Uh, you know, we were doing some cool ones. That, that is legitimately one of the cool. That's one of the coolest games we've played for Spooky Month, period. Like, so between that and Hallway Flashlight, man, we've gotten some really cool ass, cool ass games of two different flavors, too, which is interesting. Two different flavors and production value. But like, that's that's the thing. That's the that's the kicker. Most of these are, it's like production value. Just the shit, some shit just blows me away. Like, and I'm just like, dude. Coopstiv the fuck. Give this dude Silent Hill 2 remake. <laughs> I can't. Can you imagine this? Be like, who you guys, who you guys giving? It's like, we're giving, we're giving Silent Hill 2 to Banana Jeff. I'd be like, trust. <laughs> I'd be like, trust, dude. I trust, I trust Banana Jeff. Banana Jeff's got it figured out. They got the they got the they got the mouth feel. Like legitimately, if I had played this and I <laughs> they, they, I, there was like an announcement, like the <laughs> the SHG remake was actually done by done by Banana Jeff. I'd be like, my man's got it. He could probably figure it out. He could probably figure it out. Anyway, um, yeah, that was nuts though. It was really good. I hope you guys like that one too. Well, they did say they wanted to do more games like setting set in this universe, which I think is going to be interesting because we've seen like kind of what the Ooga Booga ultimately ends up being with these like scary ass creatures. But it also says that like, you know, that he was safe at like the HQ in that one ending, which is interesting. So obviously, like not everything was destroyed or whatever. Um, Yeah, I kind of wonder if it's uh, yeah, I kind of wonder if there was more there was more like choices to make. I think it probably ends up kind of at the same point, but there might be a couple extra like little bips and bobs that you can do. I thought maybe opening the door for what's her name might be a choice. I thought maybe uh, like leaving the apartment might be the choice, but it didn't seem like it would let me do that anytime I walked near it. So because I thought like maybe like walking down to the street would be a thing, but I guess not. Um, and it's crazy that like the, the the game feels really big in terms of like what you can do, but it really isn't. It's just that hallway, the office and your house, like your apartment. But there's so many interactables that the game feels enormous. Um, which is really interesting how that works. Like just having like a density of like interactables and stuff like that makes it feel like it's huge. Even though the game really isn't, you've got like your bout. That's an interesting thing there too. Is like you go out on your balcony, the game feels big because you can see this whole area. You can see it from the hallway too. You have your office. You have the hallway itself. Um, you can kind of see into people's apartments. You can see down the stairs. So it's like there's a lot of instances where you can see into other areas, but you can't actually go into them. But yet it still feels big because it's these you know, three or four areas that are kind of all glued together with a bunch of interactables, but shout out to Banana Jeff. I, man, with a name like that and whatever, I normally would be like, whatever, my God. Banana Jeff just coming out swinging. Just just Jeffing all over the floor. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was killer. What an awesome, what an awesome thing that was. I want to say thank you again to everybody, by the way, for the resubs and the, the bits and the dollar monies. Uh, if you took any clips tonight or you wanted to catch the VOD on this, I've been pretty good about the VODs. Uh, I get them up in like an hour or two. Basically as quick as, as YouTube can process it. Like I just, I'd throw it up there immediately, let it go uh, market and everything like that. Just to let people uh, know how those work. Cause I, I never really said this the way, what I normally do with the VODs is I'll normally put whatever the, my favorite game of the night was, will be like the thumbnail and the name of it. And then I have the additional games that we played for that night uh, in the description. It'll say like the, the, the sequence that we played them in is normally what I do. So like tonight will be, Obviously, this game will be the the name of the the VOD with the thumbnail and everything like that, and then it'll show where it kind of goes in order for that whole thing. But that was Funeralopolis. Uh, pretty cool night overall. Koi was pretty cool. Uh, not amazing, but definitely neat conceptually. Uh, um, the Chilla's art game 
I thought was going to be... I, when we did it, I was like, that's going to be the thumbnail boy right there is Jisatsu, but nope. <laughs> nope, this one took over. Jisatsu was good, though. That's definitely one of my favorite uh, Chilla's art games. Like, period. Uh, easily. Easily one of my favorite. Um, it was good. Very good indeed. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. There's the VODs channel if you guys want to go check that out. There's also Discord if you want to go post any clips and things like that in it. There's also... That's probably it that I'm going to talk about right now. Anyway, well, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for joining me on another spooky month night. And, um... <laughs> damn, even when Jilla puts out a good game, they get bodied by a surprise banger. <laughs> but thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all the donaties, the subs, the things. Thank you again, Zach, for sending me a copy of... Fucking Silent Hill 2 blooper... Bloober 343 Industries Halo Edition, whatever the hell it is called. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. But anyway, I'll be back again tomorrow for, for more stuff. So you guys take it easy. I'll see you then. Goodbye.